Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to this particular episode of Yas. Um, this will be our season finale, end of this arc, whatever we want to call it, whatever it is. It's the last episode of this arc. So thanks for sticking through it with us. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we are going to have Amelie talk about our charity for March, and then um, I will do the recap, and then we will start playing. So Amelie, whenever you are ready, take it away. Hey y'all, so March is uh, Women's Month. Um, I'm not, I can't remember if it's national or international or whatever. I think it's uh, National Women's History, Women's History Month or something. Yeah, it's something. No, women's History Month. Um, and I, I don't know uh, who is aware of what's been happening around us, but uh, if uh, our, of our fans, but we just had a giant freeze here in Texas that, um, affected every single one of us and some of us are still uh recovering from it um so we chose say her name texas uh say her name texas is by black women for black women um and it, additionally they were some of the first people on the ground helping people recover um i both volunteered with them and was able to benefit from the uh, mutual aid that they offered so their goals are to provide education around socioeconomic oh, i'm sorry socio-emotional mental physical and familial issues affecting black women address how cis women contribute to transphobia and homophobia in the black community stand in solidarity with other women of color demand justice for black women assaulted and or murdered due to domestic domestic police and misogynistic violence, uplift the voices of black women by supporting efforts to center and empower them, recognize the role that colorism plays in violence aff afflicting, afflicted towards black women, and collaborate with the community groups to ensure yeah. that black women are being included in the solutions to the issues impacting them. So uh, I want to personally thank uh, say her name, Texas, for the help that they have given me. Um, and I hope that we can uh, get some uh, donations in for them to help them do more good in the area. Okay. Um, and then it's now a time to do a DM recap. Last time when we played, um, they the group left, <laughs> left Mechanis was like, okay, uh, with their new friend, returned to Rendenhurst and tried to figure some shit out. And this is the DM, of course, I'm doing like the DM recap. So I'm like, okay, and that's the end. That's the recap. Um, they they were in Mechanis and they left Mechanis and then they traveled back to Rendenhurst and they were trying to figure some stuff out. And then, yes, Robin drew some friends. Um, and then the last thing that happened was Whistler was in the Emerald Protectors looking through a stack <laughs> of of maps with with Mick on her shoulder with with Neil, Nelia looking through and Mick having because he's using Nelia's intelligence instead of Whistler's was able to rifle through the maps and pop up with the correct one and that is where we left off so uh up uh, per, uh upstairs with the emerald protectors uh Nelia and I believe it was at uh Finland is with them and the emerald protector and then uh other people had gone to cream just to hang out and chill i think zareth went to go drink more cream um and uh so yeah so we'll start at the emerald protectors with whistler finding this map and mick is there sorry i just love zareth going like yeah just the little thumbs up just like yeah cream <laughs> it killed me <laughs> So Whistler, Mick the ferret, like throws this this map up at you. Catch it, and I look at it, and I look at Mick, and I'm like, "You're this, yeah." And like, Mick, are you Mick, sure? Like, and you can see Nelia's eyes because it's not Mick's eyes. It's not Mick's like brown eyes. It's Nelia's eyes, and you're like, pointed at eyes, pointed to Mick's eyes, pointed to my eyes. And I'm gonna cast message and send a message <laughs> and be like, <laughs> be like, uh, yeah, Whistler, it's the right map. You can stop looking now. I can respond. You can hear me. 
right? We already established that. You can hear me. I know that. I, I probably get cut off. Words, you <laughs> no, that's sending. This is just message. No, message also is 25 mm -hmm. words. What? I'm fairly certain. If it's not, it should be because it's it's a shorter, it's, you don't have an unlimited amount of time to talk with message. It's like super it's short. It's an even less powerful spell. Yeah. Like 10 words. <laughs> so you have found- There's no limit. There, you have found this map. What are you going to do, Whistler? Uh, I will put everything else back away, probably mostly in in order, and um, head out. I still feel like I'm pretty thrown from my talk with um, Shay, I think it was, about- Yeah, the elf, yeah. Yeah, Tiamat, the dragon. A yeah. goddess is is the worst and I'm just leery about everything now so um, yeah I'll just clutch this map and head back out front and uh, I think Fenlin and Nelia was Jack also there? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah so everyone's there just, and I'm like I'm just leaning against the wall kind of like with my feet kicked out just kind of like chilling did you find it? We should, uh, we should go to Cream? Uh, yeah, I hand it over, but I'm also kind of like, I point at Nelia and I'm like, Yes, I found it! We actually, she found it, kind of way. <laughs> uh, it, um, uh, I, I'm, I'm looking back and forth between them and I, I'm just like, uh... Thank you! Um... Hand over the map. <laughs> yeah. And, and so, there, and Shay's like, you can't take the map out of here. Oh. Uh, you can't take the map out of here. I, I, um... You can take the map, you can memorize the map, you just can't take the map out of here. No, I got this, I got this, okay. okay. And, like, I roll it out with, with Finland, and I'm just like, okay. Where should we go next? Trace? Tracy? Yeah, does anybody uh, have a paper or, um... Some something in the we can... corner. Actually, um, I do. In the corner of the map, it says nickel plenty mines. Nickel plenty mines. Um, so I actually have like a little bit. Uh, I just have a couple pieces of parchment and some ink because I still like to draw things. I'm just not as uh uh co constant about it as Robin. <laughs> It does not need to be. It does not need to be perfect, Jack. Just you know, something quick so that we know how to get there. And um, yep. I'm gonna take note of at least like cardinal directions on the map and the major, like any major land, uh, land land masses. That was not the word I was looking for. Landmarks. Uh, landmarks. <laughs> uh, yeah, like Jack's like kind of just scribbling it down and like. Nickel, it, what what did you say it was? It was Nickel Plenty nickel Mines? Nickel Plenty Mines. Nickel, and, and like, nickel, scribbling nickel, down Nickel Plenty Mines, and... So, it isn't a map to get to the mines, it is a map of the mines. Oh, okay. It is a map of the underground. Does anyone know how to get to Nickel Plenty Mines? Uh, Shay's like, uh, yeah, it's, I know that some gnomish people, uh, a few years ago, uh, they they did a survey down there and uh, gave that back to us. I think they're still mining out there. Is it which direction? Uh, as far as I know, it's in the Weald, north northwestish of here somewhere. I don't know. I wouldn't be the person to ask. I wonder if Zareth's uh, compass can get us there. I I think this is a good idea. Uh, we know roughly the direction, so yeah. Um. I, uh... Can you guys roll, like, an investigation check on the map or anything? I'm not there, but... Yeah. Um, I'm actually... I mean, I would, not my I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna look at Shay, and I'm just gonna be like, I understand that we are not part of your, um... This part of the, yeah, I, I understand that. And I, I know that, like, the rules are that we can't take, th take this out. This is probably a matter of life and death. Yes, absolutely. I don't think probably. It is a matter of life and death. And 
I, I I understand the need to take care of these sorts of these sorts of information, um, these sorts of maps. It, it is it's a very big deal to me. I I want to keep this safe, uh, and you know I I, I'm, I don't want to see it hurt. And we need this. Um, Jack, make a make a persuasion check. have really good persuasion. Me being a rogue, I'm like losing my mind right now. It's fine. Nine. Okay. Give me a second. Let's, where's the freaking D20? I mean, Finn was helping me. Finn, Finn was supporting me. Finn uh -oh. was. But um, I'm totally like my best smile just standing there. <laughs> um. Sure. But trying to look serious too. Like sure, go ahead and roll the game and we'll see how it goes. Uh fourteen. They rolled an eighteen. Okay, so uh they're like, oh, I get that, but I'm already on thin ice here. So I mean, can you just like trace it, like make a rubbing real quick or something? Is it 3D? Like, could we actually make a rubbing? It is not, but Shay doesn't have to look at Why? What? I mean, it could be a Braille map. I don't know. Um, do I see Nelia, like, making faces at us? Sure, yeah. Nelia is, like, standing behind Shay. I'm, going, like, like, doing the jittery shit. Just, like, come on. I can do this. <laughs> I think you're pacing back and forth behind Shay. Um, so, uh, I, I see Nelia. And Nelia, are you what? What sort of faces are you making at me? It's very much just like, oh, I could do like, kind of just be like, hmm, I could, I could do this, or very, very like cautious because there's somebody here, and if Nelia were to steal the map, uh, Nelia's like, there's somebody actually watching the map right now. <laughs> um, very jittery. Oh, oh, Jack does not like this. Jack is not okay. Uh, Jack is gonna say. Shay, yes, um, I will, I will make a rubbing of this. I've got this. And, like, takes out her scrap paper. We will return it to you shortly. Don't worry. Oh, God. <laughs> where are you going? What, what do you mean, where, to return it where? What, just oh, right no, here. Just, I, I was just saying, like, I, I, I know that you've got, um, stuff to do. And, I like, I really have nothing else to do right now. I'm, like, looking at Nelia. I send a message to Whistler. <laughs> Go on. Whistler, you need to distract her for me. Please. What? What? What kind? Why? What kind of distract? Um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Uh, hey, you guys I just don't wanna... know this is happening. <laughs> Y'all doing some Zareth nonsense. I'm, 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 doing a, I'm doing a pre cringe, all right? You guys don't know my sleight of hand. I lift my hand like I am uh, covering a cough, and then I'm going to try and throw my voice with like firework sounds, like it's coming from the back, like very big oh. boom, 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 booms. Okay, make a performance check. Oh, good. So excited about that. Oh, boy. Oh, thank God I accidentally rolled a d12 because that was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would be bad with a d12, I mean. It's still bad. Um, what is it? It's four, but now it's 11. They rolled a natural one! <gasps> Bruh! <laughs> and they're like, oh, no, 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 what is that? No, 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 no. And they, like, run out towards, like, pets. <laughs> like, they're like, no, no, nobody should be doing any experimenting today! And, like, pff, they pull buns to the um, back. I'm uh, gonna say that Finland also sort of, like, panics about what's going on. Cool, because I'm- uh, and I, tr I try to catch Finland's eye and just, like, <laughs> wink and, uh... uh Everything's fine! <laughs> Finland stays put, but in a mass of confusion. Jack is gonna be like, I'm going to go help you! I'm going to cast Mage Hand and pick up the map and, like, kind of take it out the door and then slowly okay. make my way out of the door. Okay, make a slide of the wind check. It's an 18 plus 7. So, so 25. Yeah, yeah. They're, they, they roll with disadvantage on their perception and I'll take a little, it was a 12. So, yeah, you... <laughs> 
Just mage hand yeah, I, goes out. You see, like it's it's invisible too, so you don't even see it. You just see the like map just whoosh away out the door, and then I follow the map out the door. <laughs> I feel like we should leave a post-it note that says, "Thanks for the map. We put it away." <laughs> leave a note like get out Jack's parchment. Thanks for the map. It's right. Back Thanks for the map. We put it away. <laughs> no, no, if, no, if no. If you say that. If you say that, uh, Whistler will just be, thanks for the map, we put it away, and kind of point after Shay, like, you know, I can go say that way. Uh, so Jack is with Shay and, like, is, tr is like, keeping her pointed towards a way and, uh, like, not sure what's going on behind her because she's kind of just thinking, you know what, if I don't see it, it didn't happen. It's yeah, not, you're, probably, you're not a cohort to deal with stuff. It's possible deniability. I am not, yeah, I am not breaking the rules if I didn't see it. Ben okay. is just having this whole, what is happening? Is this crime? Is this okay? Uh, it's probably okay. Like, so do you guys follow helping. Nelia out? Because Nelia now has yeah. the map. Do you guys like... Yeah. Yep. Okay, for the trio at Cream, you guys are just kind of chilling in the bar slash coffee house. Zareth, what have you ordered? Did you get boba? Did I order cream. Okay. Sure. They come out with like, yeah, they're like, uh, do you do you want coffee with your cream? Do you want co coffee? You want cream and coffee? I will allow you to adjust my cream based on your expertise. They're like, well, and you get like some like frappuccino thing. Some like whipped iced coffee thing. They're like here. Uh, Robin and uh, Bostet, what are you guys doing? Need to hear Zareth says this pleases me greatly. Zareth, can you can you say that about the frappuccino? <laughs> oh, we can't hear you. <laughs> so confused. So. I think uh, Robin's new goal is to try to order hey, something that muted? will please, that will really please Zareth, so that he could say it pleases him greatly. Okay, this is his Robin's new goal. Okay, so to... you guys are just kind of chilling and cream, drinking frappuccinos and tea and whatever the hell else you guys want to drink, when the other four kind of come busting through the door. So everybody is all in the same place at this point. It's fire. I. I've been giving Zareth all kinds of different treats and snacks, trying to find one that's really going to sell him on, like, this is why life is good, you know? Yeah, you've had hey, no chocolate, you've had Madeleines, like, you've had, you've just, it's just been, like, the, 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 like, plethora of French pastries, essentially, is what you've been eating. I, I well, hope everyone I, is, is well fed. We have had a, a great deal of luck in, in locating uh, a map, but, um... For for various reasons, I think we should go somewhere else to look at it. Yes, I've tucked the map like in my bag, like in my pocket, like Wh in my belt Whistler. behind me, so my cape is like covering it. Jack, Whistler, like, do you think that we can go to the temple where it is probably very quiet and very empty? Table is just covered in like half-eaten, bitten out of I like just pastries and stuff piled it. up. <laughs> I'm just like kind of. <laughs> picking bits off of croissants and eating them. Robin's vegan. Robin isn't eating any of this, but has ordered like basically one of everything for Zareth to try. <laughs> like Zareth has food. Do Zareth you guys want to try your favorite? Out of all of these, pl this plethora of pastries, what has been the one that has been like, Zareth's been like, what is your favorite pastry? Uh, Zareth's favorite is a chocolate truffle. Sure. Good choice. Good choice. Uh, who else came in? Are you hungry? Um, I, I could get Zareth reaches into, into his bag. Zareth, like, reaches into his bag, realizing that we're going to leave, pulls out a, um, <clears throat> like, a solid small gemstone um, and sets it on the table. This is what this experience is worth. Stands up and walks out the door. <laughs> Finland sort of leans over and is kind of like having this like holy like, crap face, but then also grabs some food and puts it in her pack. I hate to do rogue shit. I'm gonna wait for everybody to leave and I'm gonna swap it. You out don't have to like steal the actual pancakes. Haven. They've already been paid for. 
they are paid for pancakes. It was true, Zareth. It was no big deal. I got this. Zareth's already gone. No, Zareth's yeah, already gone. If he's off. left, yeah. I'm gonna wait for everybody else to leave and just sit there and like pretend to eat all the food and swap it out with the actual money. Cause I want- Well, I mean, again, Robin, Robin, I've paid for all this, but you can yeah. take the gemstone. I'm not gonna notice. What I'm chasing kind of off. Gemstone is it, like Zareth? A- what did you put down? A um a small sapphire worth twenty five gold pieces. Okay, so everybody else has walked out, and yep. Nelly is just kind of like picking stuff up, and then <laughs> picks up that smack sapphire. Like opens up bag, like scoops it into the bag, and then closes with bag. some pastries, like pastry yeah, just... from it. <laughs> yeah, Sarah, in this in in the Emerald Wield, are servers paid better than minimum wage, or is is a no everybody every Brendan Hurst has paid a living wage and gets benefits. Okay, so this isn't stealing from some from some poor overworked two dollars and fifteen cent an no, hour. They all, if you there if you wish to tip, you are more than welcome to, but it is not required for people to live. That's all this fantasy world we've created. So everybody That's the best pancakes is what. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, I'm following so, after Zara. Like so right. Treat your employees well and pay them well, and they will, and then they will be better workers. That's, that's you True know. story. Yeah. All right. So we're heading for the uh, uh, temple. The temple of the Raven Queen. Yeah. Okay. Jack, when when does Jack join y'all? Because Jack was like making sure that Shay did not see anything. Well, Jack kind of joined you as Jack is walking towards Cream, and everybody else is leaving. I'm still in there doing the, taking the shit. <laughs> so, um, you guys are. I'm just gonna say. I'm just gonna wrap this up. Everybody is walking towards the Temple of the Raven Queen. Everybody <laughs> has met back up somewhere outside of Cream near Brambleberry Park and is headed to the Temple of the Raven Queen. Whistler, what is the Temple of the Raven Queen like at about two o'clock in the afternoon? Quiet. Uh, I feel like. Most of their crap is kind of morning and night, and uh, midday it's probably like, I, <laughs> unless there's a body to deal with, just probably very quiet. Like there's probably some prayers happening somewhere in the temple, but most of the caretakers are just kind of. And the next it. question is: Does Whistler take everybody? Where does Whistler take everybody in the temple? Does Whistler take? them to outside to her room where's everybody going uh i think she'll pause before they actually get into the temple and kind of jerk a thumb toward it and be like graveyard my room and and making gestures like like my room is very small graveyard (laughs) (laughs) my face Uh, is very much like graveyard good yes because I can only assume that a Kenku's room is like full of all the little random ass shiny objects and weird like shaped stones that you've oh, picked yeah. up for like the last 12 years. Yeah, um, yeah. She, she's had a rock collection for about 15 years that she's unaware of, <laughs> but it's there. Um, Jack, Jack, wants is to know, Jack wants to know how big your room is because there's some. The, I'm big. <laughs> While in my room, Whistler is making like gestures with her hands of like, eat the big space. <laughs> oh. uh, graveyard, please. <laughs> so you guys head out back towards the graveyard. So you are now in the cemetery in the graveyard. Where do we go? We need to find like a nice big like vampire grave. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Ooh. So that it's the, kind the of like ones? huh? Uh, yeah, the New yeah. Orleans above ground. Uh, like, so in, in Europe, there's um, there's a bunch of uh, of graves that either have like metal cages over them or have these huge stones on top of them, and they're known as vampire graves. And this whole really like it went out. in, but it won't come out. <laughs> uh, and so I'm thinking if we can find something kind of like that, then we can sit around it like it's a table. Uh, yeah, Whistler is going to lead them kind of to the back corner, like where the oldest graves are, uh, because it's less likely to have any visitors. No one's going to come through. Uh, More likely and to have vampires. Yeah. 
Exactly. I mean, you got to get that Victorian stuff unlocked. Uh, so, yeah, there's probably something like that where we can put the map down on. Okay. So there is uh, this, there's a, a grave that has a, a giant, like, stone on it. And you guys kind of start using this gravestone as a table. And you open up the map. And again, it is not a map to the mines. It is a map of the mines. What are you doing? So we're all like kind of squatted around. So um, this is a map of the nickel penny mines. These mines are somewhere in the emerald wheel uh, to the northeast or something like that. I don't remember now. Um, are so you have able to use your compass to find it? He uh, gave, that was a he thumbs, up thumbs, up. thumbs up. It was a yeah. thumbs up. Yes. Cool. Just like the cream. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, sorry. Zareth will pull out his, his compass, make some adjustments, and uh, make a navigation check at 20. Okay. Uh, dirty 20. Yeah. Yeah, it is northwest of here. And if you guys uh, will recall, that is the direction that you came from when you dealt with the psychic energies in the wield. I suppose it makes sense that that is that is where it is. It has not it has not moved. I think that we should we should look at at this map carefully because this is this will be our our battleground. Um, Jack, just looking at at this map, which room? Where do you think strategically the Alhun is like likely to be holed up? Uh. Not able to actually see a map myself. Um, uh, I would say that he's probably um, in a place with as many exits as possible. Uh, we want... It, he doesn't want to be bottled. Bottlenecked is my guess. Um, at least that's what I would do. I don't know how these things think. Uh, but what I'm concerned about, what I want to see happen is that because we know he uh, can get to us mentally, um, I feel like we need to make sure that uh, there's, th that we're making sure that we can't turn on each other easily. Um, so what I'm thinking is that uh, I and, um, and Whistler will go after him uh, it, short range with uh, Robin can can Pan be in between us and make sure that I can't hurt Whistler think but um so uh Robin Robin nods and, and gives uh, some positive uh, answers to that and um then so and then Finn I I, I, I how many javelins do you have left I I I just have the one that I picked up when when the robot men attacked. It's back at um at the firehouse. Uh okay. So here's here's my bow. And I I, I pass off my my uh bow to you, my long bow and my and my quiver to you. Um and you and uh and and Bostet can can flank and be in from and, and be coming in from uh, more of a distanced fight, and then uh, Jack, Robin. Jack, I'm like standing there, kind of holding this bow awkwardly, right? Yeah. Um, Jack, I I appreciate what you are saying, and I I agree with your assessment and the 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 initial thought that you have, but. I am only oh so so with a bow, and my axe will do far more damage than than this bow would. I I should be there on the front line with you, and I hold the bow back out towards you. <laughs> I I put my gear back on. But I get what you are saying. I think this is a solid plan. We should, like you said. It is likely they will be somewhere where there are a lot of exits, so we should try and surround the Alhoun with as many of our up-close fighters as we have, and then have um, those like Bastet 
who can support us from from behind. I think this is a good plan. I turn to Bastet and uh, Robin and uh, to Nelia and I say, okay, are y'all, are, are you good uh, staying? And Zareth, uh, I know you are all, I know y'all, Bastet and Robin and Zareth are all magic users. Nelia, are, are you able to use magic from afar as well? All of uh, my magic is uh, close range, fun fact. <laughs> Pretty oh, much. um, the good, the, I mean, the good shit. I, you know, I, and I fight we, close we, range. Jack, Jack, how, how, how about this then? Can we get, can we get four fighters to surround the album, right? At, say, you know, the, I would use a clock here, but we don't have the clock. Compass points. You can use compass uh, points. North, south, east, west. Yeah, compass points. North, south, east, west. We we have Pen who is able to be part of that perimeter. We have we have Zareth, We have uh we have Bastet and we have Robin to to back us up. I turn to Nelia and I'm like, I I'm really concerned because uh, because. We're, we've been going after this creature, and I just want to make sure that you know that this is a dangerous thing to do. Yeah. Uh, well, I remember uh, Felon said that I was a pirate. Uh, <laughs> not completely wrong. I mean, probably was a pi was a pirate at one point. I know how to hold my ground. <laughs> Uh, also, I can heal people. I got that ability, and I can also do the- I can also protect people, but I can only do that because I have three spell slots, <laughs> so I can he I can protect one person. Okay, so you're- you- you want to be part of the four going at him in short range. Yeah. I can attack and then jump away and then attack again. I want to, Fenlin, like when, when we started talking about like really like getting into me to what we're doing, Fenlin has gotten up and is no longer really looking at the map, but is like kind of pacing back and forth, like, like a lot of energy going on. Um, Cause she's got, it's getting into her head now that it's getting more real and that, you know, danger is in front of them. Um, we need to, like we did in the forest, what the uh, we need to do like we did in the what forest the and have Pan, have have Pan, because Pan cannot be mind controlled, be able to let us know when we are, when something has gone wrong or protect us. Is there, is there a way that we can do that? Can command Pan in ways to set up some some safety protocols, basically, so that Pan will act. Um, basically, I can set Pan in action, and then have Pan alert me if something is changing with my state of mind. As long as I basically put Pan on autopilot instead of having Pan uh, respond to my immediate commands, that should work, like we did earlier. Um, I also want to say that uh, if we are going to be doing a battle right when it's happening. Um, I can cast heroism on two people, which will protect you from being frightened and give you hit points uh, at the top of every turn. So maybe two who will be in the front, I could off the just from the start go ahead and bolster you with heroism. So Jack points at Finland. I mean, I was thinking you and Finland, yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, did you want a chocolate croissant? I brought you one from Cream. Jack. Oh, uh, I. Thank you. I'm not hungry. Oh, it's really good. Maybe you should have the calories. You seem really stressed. Would would the group care for a um, experienced opinion on this? Jack like gives kind of a dirty look because this is what she's in school for, <laughs> and is like, please. <laughs> 
By all means, please. <laughs> By all means. Side eyeing him still. Uh, it is good to know who is going to attack from the front and who is going to be in support. But when the when you see the Alhoon, you should have only one thought, and that is his destruction. Swiftness and violence of action will win the day. Focus and be strong. We will overcome this enemy. I do remember that you told us to to be quick about it. That faster is better, and I I I think that we we can we can do this. Is this right, Finn? You and Pan are the fastest. Yes. So it seems like if you and Pan both rush the Alhoon, maybe uh, Pan is a distraction, and you. And I think he said we need to cut the Alhoon's head off. So it seems like Pan should rush in to distract, and then you should come in with the with the axe or a long sword and just. Although I, I mean, I really think we should try talking. It's a giant thing know? that sits on my back. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, with your act. Um, yeah. Yes, I think that it would be it would be smart if Pan and I can get there quickly. But um, my Pablo always says that you can not only have one plan; you must you must have many plans because the the situation on the battlefield will change quickly. So um, we we can't put we can't put all of these eggs in my basket. You see what I'm saying? That. If something is to happen and I am not quick enough or my hit does not land, then it is imperative that the others are there as quickly as possible to to fill those spaces. So I would need Jack uh, across from me and I would need Whistler near me. And Nelia, if you are willing to to fight with us, than, than you too, but we cannot rely. We just cannot. Re it's too much to ask just me. Of course, and I mean I know. Put you're, my, oh, I'm sorry. Go I ahead. I know. I know you're. Maybe you're still feeling kind of bad about what happened last time, but I can protect you from being frightened this time. You know, so like you don't have to worry about that. You won't be scared. You know, like I got you. Um. I I am not so much I'm I I am not worried about being scared. I'm a little worried about being scared. I Jack am worried that her I will hand not be on fast Finland's enough. shoulder. Jack puts her hand on Finland's shoulder and just says, "We've got this." Then I too do that cuz I'm just trying to fit in. <laughs> <laughs> like okay. Then, then we should go. We should go. Oh no, is everybody sitting there like laying hands on Ben? It's got awkward now. Instead of lay on hands, lay on Ben. <laughs> well, Robin's like, Ben, would you like me to touch you too? If it makes you feel better. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> uh, Ra um, Ra uh, Whistler in uh, Torbeck's very deep, very Irish voice. Uh, it's just like we make plans and the Raven Queen laughs. Oh. Okay, I. Yes, <laughs> this is what I was saying about eggs and baskets. Yes, thank you. But I think that we have a plan. We have. Pan and I will go in as quickly as possible yeah. and with the idea of beheading the Alhoon. But everyone will have their places in case it does not happen in one stroke. Are we ready? I have one question. How many of you can't oh. see in the dark? Because the cave might be dark. Oh, I'd look at Whistler. I know. Uh, I yeah, we all look at Whistler. We just all look at Whistler. Anybody Whistler? else? Uh, I think Zareth does not have dark vision. Because you do? Okay. Raise your hand if you don't yes. have dark vision. <laughs> Whistler. Okay. <laughs> cool. I look at Whistler and I'm like, well, technically, this counts for everybody. Um, well, I can, in two people, I can share my dark vision, which is hecka long. Uh, <laughs> so if anybody wants to see really far in the night, I got you. And Whistler is getting one, so somebody else gets it too. So, 
I'll be fine. I'll tell you what my elf eyes see. Dun dun nerd reference. <laughs> yes, Nereth. I'll take longer dark vision. Okay. When we get I, the I cast I'll I can cast range speed. spells. Having longer dark vision would be good. Cool. Uh <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. And I will do it when we get there. <laughs> uh, literally forgot I could do that, so I'm like, oh, we're going to caves. Yes. <laughs> we're slow. I love it. Warding bond? What is that? I to try and describe warding bond without words. I just kind of fluff my feathers up a whole lot. <laughs> and I'm trying to convey I can buff you. Uh it can <laughs> can you do it to more than one person? No. Do it to yourself. Doesn't no. work that way. No? Me mm mm. It's, it's, it's been I try to I try to like mime that it's a connection between me okay. and someone else. Uh what is sorry, meta mechanically, what is it doing? Okay, what it gives you plus yeah. one to AC, it gives you plus one to all saving throws, I believe, and it gives you resistance to all damage. It would um, make my AC 20. It, it would probably it help me it. the most. It would probably help Jack the most, but it's, Jack yeah, is going to point to Elia. Gonna... Yeah, I don't think that... I take the damage that you take. Oh, so, like, God. I, I, I get... <laughs> yeah, no, you're so going... It's to... like... <laughs> yeah, so this would... In this instance, meta, it would be better for someone in the back, just in yeah. case the Alhoon does something. Because, uh, like, if I'm getting my damage plus your have damage it's still iffy who's squishiest who's, who's the squishiest between the three in the back then robin then robin oh i was gonna say who has the lowest hp here because it's probably me <laughs> oh no jack jack it's... points at robin and says uh protect them Oh, no, not me. I'm okay. I look at you. Uh, I, Jack I'm, looks at I mean, you. yes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I feel like Jack and Robin Jack's have learned looking, something like, about this themselves. Weird glare at Robin. Yeah. yeah. I have <laughs> awakened something in me. Um, that's <laughs> Robin right now. I'll All just right. not get damaged. Uh, I, I also try to mime, like, I'm buff. It's okay. <laughs> I'm also uh, going to be Jack, right next Jack to the map. So... Yeah, What's Jack rolls up the map and says, Mine? I'm ready. 23? I am ready. I have no con modifier. Oh, what? great. <laughs> Don't get hit. I really ought to go to you, but... Okay. Go to me, because at least I got lay on hands. <laughs> uh, I hold okay, my hand out for the I map. Can, I, can I have the map? I like maps. Uh, sure. Yes, Sailor gets the map. <laughs> All right, is everybody ready? Is everybody okay with the plan that you have developed? Is everybody ready to yep. head back into the wheeled? Yep. Zara, you are going to have to tell everybody which way to go because you have the compass. Um, so kind of rolls up the um, rolls up the map. Zeth just kind of like, okay, we're ready to go, and like. <laughs> Turns and like starts and starts um leading the way. Guys. Like Zareth is gonna do. He just like once the decision is made, Zareth's off. Zareth's gone. So if you guys wanna follow him, he <laughs> is he is headed. Yeah, I mean I'm vibrating with energy, so if moving is and happening, you, I'm moving. <laughs> you guys recognize this because you guys came the opposite direction out of the Emerald Wheel. You were heading back into the area where Bostet was attacked by nature and where where Whistler got Telepathy for an hour. Basically, we're going right. back <laughs> to the, the physical place of our traumas. Good yes. Gracious. Okay. You we're heading. It was great for me. Like, it's true. Whistler had a great time. Um, I I found my new like goal in life here. <laughs> um, hey, as we're getting, getting there closer and closer, like Finland is feeling more and more on edge and is kind of got head on a swivel thing going on 
by contrast, oh. Jack is actually feeling like more and more comfortable. They've got a plan. They've got that. There's we're going towards this, and for once, everyone is like not going out in a million directions. You guys, as you keep heading into the wheels, right on the edge, you start feeling that buzzing in the back of your head. And it's like you've just crossed an invisible barrier where that buzzing starts up again. And you're like, oh, there it is. And it's so familiar to all of you because you walked in it for a few hours. Yes. So before um, we had walked in there, uh -huh. you know, while everybody was doing the talking, I, you know, laid hands on myself and did protection from good and evil. Uh -huh. um, just remembering from that direction what it was like, you know. Mm -hmm. and seeing the fears that we all saw, so that's just okay. an FYI. Okay. Yes, Amelie wants to talk. And, um, Meta, sorry, who has the healing potions? That was given to... I think I... Yes, I have them. I have, okay. um, so Meta, uh, four, uh, like, regular healing, two greater healing, and we have two anti-poisons. Okay. Um, before, when when we get into the buzzy part, though, um, can we one moment stop? Um, I do not want to be carrying all of these. We can share share the load, and I put my pack down and I pull out all the bottles. Oh, I hold my hands out. <laughs> uh, I, I give you that anti poison. <laughs> I take each of the uh, regular this. healing and I put and I get I make sure that Finland has one, Whistler has one, Nelia has one, and I have one since we're going to be up close and personal. Um, and then I I hand off the greater healing potions, one to Bastet and one to Robin. Uh, with uh, no, not to Bastet. I don't need it. I don't need it. No, you, it's for if it's for giving to other people. Think of it as like a first aid kit. Oh, okay. Then I can do that. What yeah. potions did I we get? So, um, so let me. Uh, what? Okay, I'll, I will do. I will talk about who the who gets what potions. Okay. Nelia, Whistler, Finland, and Jack all have a regular healing potion, which is two D four plus two. Robin and Bostet were given greater healing potions, which are four D four plus four. To take a potion for yourself is a bonus action. To uncork and drink. To give a potion to another person is a full action. Because you have to open their mouth, uncork the thing, and shove it down their gullet. It's a little bit more of an action. So to take one yourself, bonus action. To give, to administer to another person, it is an action. I just want to point that out before we start going. Finland, did you give me the other ones just as a joke? Like, did yeah, you, actually... you have to do anti poison. Anti poison. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I, uh, Jack, Jack is is even more confident now, and just like, okay, yep, no, this is good. This is good. We have tools. We have plans, and keeps pulling up the rear. All right. Um, you guys are actually heading in a direction because where you guys were coming from, uh, as opposed to going like further north where you guys had come from, the um, the direction that Zareth takes you in is a little bit further west. It's still um, kind of within, uh, and you're still having that buzziness, but you still do start heading that way, and you see like a little bit of a clearing, and there's a small sign that says Nickel Penny Mines, Nickel Plenty Mines. Sorry. Hey guys. Uh. So this is our last episode for this arc. Um, we hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Uh, we really enjoyed this arc. A big thank you to Mike Nistel for being our big bad evil guy. You guys will be seeing him next in the next half of this uh, episode because that's when he shows up. Um, so yes, uh, next episode that we post that is not an OOC is going to be our Star Trek adventure. Um, I believe it will be a meet the cast kind of thing and meet the characters because we will be having some new people since Tanya and I will be unavailable to play. So yeah, um, big thank you to our patrons. We have uh, John B, uh, Claudia Janowski, Helen Gore Laird, and 
Um, Adam Eiler, thank you guys so much for being patrons. We really appreciate all of your support. And we did have some Kofi shoutouts as well this week. So we had one Kofi shoutout, uh, and it was from uh, Georgia. And she said, thank you. She All she said was, say thank you. Um, so thank you <laughs> uh, for everything that you guys all do. Uh, thank you, Georgia. I believe you're Sarah's mom. Thank you also for supporting us. We know that you're a big supporter of us as well. Um, we have a whole group of moms supporting us, so that's always fun. Um, so yeah, uh, this episode should be going out, uh, March 10th, and then our next episode will be going out on March 24th, so that is when the Star Trek Adventure will be going out. And then sometime next week we'll be doing, we'll be releasing our one-shot that was supposed to go out next last month, but we didn't put it out because of the snow. So it'll be going out this month. Uh, it is another um, continuation of our Haven's Rest game. And our we will have special guest uh, Mayhammer as well there. So yeah. Um, we are excited for you guys to see the rest of this episode. So I'm not going to keep you guys anymore. So have a good day. And I'll see y'all tomorrow for the OOC. Bye guys. You guys are at the entrance to, and there's a sign. It says the Nickel Plenty Mines. And you can see, like, the wooden, like, entrance to go down into the mines. What you doing? Uh, I'm gonna vote we go in the mines. Um... I forgot to <laughs> ask during the break. What? But can I use a map with navigator's tools? Is that, like... Navigator's tools is, like, a sextant. It's, like, for being on the water. Oh. It's, like, an astrolabe. Oh, really like Damn maps. Um, all right, I, before we go in, I think that we should quickly look at the map so that we have a general idea of where we are going. Yes. I'm, again, I'm a far traveler, so I'll know where to go. Mm. So I'll show me. you the map, and I just shove it in your face. <laughs> yeah. So the, the way, I don't have an actual, like, overall map of this, but it's very, like, uh, the best way to describe it is a little bit more of a spider web, where, like, you have, like, one entrance, and then, like, you go in, and then there's, like, a, a kind of like a central hub. And then, like, different shafts will be off of the side of that. Did we determine, other than the hub, any place uh, that seemed like where we wanted to try to get to? No. Uh -uh. All right. So the hub. Yes. Question. Oh. You, the cat in the wait, back. Wait, wait, let Pax go first. Are doing that stuff that makes sense. Robin is thinking in Robin's own mind. Hello, can anybody hear me? Hello. Oh no, we lost Dave. Oh no. Okay. Um, so, my, if no one answers. Know. That's fine. But Robin's just okay. thinking. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Okay, David's oh, got it. All right. Are you guys heading into the mine? Or are you just gonna? Chill out. Yeah, I think we're gonna go in. Who's going first? I, will, I I unhook I unhook my great axe, um, and so I'm carrying it in front of me, um, and I turn to Bastet, and I will keep walking. You tell me when I need to turn. Um. Yes, and uh, I I just wanted to say like, hey, um, where are the points? Uh, is there a how how close are the entrances to the hub? Are they like yeah. within shouting distance? You do not know. You do not know what the scale of this map is. Uh, I have yeah. um I have there, pretty good survival. There are no there is no scale on the map to show you okay. how long these shafts are. You know okay. the shape, you do not know the size. Okay. I um, I would prefer us to all go in to, through the same entrance, and then spread out. I got Mick. <laughs> I don't, I don't necessarily, familiar. I don't, I don't want to split up, but using Mick might be a good idea, actually. Um, I don't want to split up, or if we do, not to split into many, many, um, individuals, but maybe two groups. Okay. Uh, let's have. Uh, what does that say, Alyssa? 
Yeah, Alyssa, we can't read that. Oh, it's the map. It's it, just the map. It's, it's yeah, map. Yeah. somewhat like it. Okay. Yeah, that's basically it. It's kind of like it's amoeba thing. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're going to send Mick, Mick in. Uh, let's send Mick in with Bostet. Oh, okay. Uh, no. I thought, yeah, I know. I'm it's like, like a weird joke. So a cat and a ferret <laughs> walk into a cave. That's true. <laughs> I mean, just send him out there and just scope it out and then come back. Because, I mean, I don't... We don't, I, Mick doesn't need to know where stuff is. He just, like, if he just, if I just go through there and do the okay. thing, he can just look and I can try and remember where stuff is. Um, as you guys, whoever, so who is going in? I need definitive who is going in. A ferret? Right. Um, I think no one is. I think we're going to stay outside and let <laughs> Mick kind of do a quick, just like a quick in and out. Okay. To like kind of get an idea of it. Okay. And we know that you would, like, we know that you know what's going on, Sarah, but we don't. Right. Okay? No, I understand that. <laughs> it's like a bunch of different conflicting. I go in. No, I don't go no, in. No, yes, I'm I just like in. I just saw Sarah go like dang no. it. I just need to know who is going and doing what because I'm getting a bunch of conflicting things. Not send in the ferrets. What? No Let's one is go. going in. I'm just gonna have Nelia tell me what she's seeing as Mick walks, and so I can. Think about like if where Mick goes, like if it's left or if it's right. Okay. Sort of describing what. Oh, so you want me to seen. when I turn when I go certain directions, you want me to be like left, right, forward yeah. kind of thing. Okay. <laughs> um. So you send in the ferret. You send in Mick. Does Mick have dark vision? I mean, I'm Mick. Would my but dark Mick vision? I touch not- Mick and give him dark. Oh no, I can't. No, I can't do that. Never mind. I don't do that. I don't want to waste that. <laughs> Mick. Because uh, I'm pretty certain weasels do not have dark vision. I hope they do. I thought they were. Um, oh, they don't. No. Man, Tiny ferret. How dare you? Does not have dark vision. No. No. I thought, oh, in the real world, I thought they were. Um, not yeah, but they still. It's, it would be like yeah, but it, this is like dark mine. Mick goes in and is blind. Damn it. Mick can't see shit. Well, that must mean that I have to go in. Yeah. Okay, then I say we go in as a group for now. If we need to split up, then we can talk about it then. Um, I will go in front. Bastet, you, you, you tell me which way I need to be turning. Going. Now this is when you should cast dark vision on Whistler, <laughs> Nelia. So, let me see. Oh god, I gotta pull it back up. Eh. I don't, as I don't know where, um, like where this person is located yeah. who we're looking for. Like, just are we just gonna go? Yeah. yeah, just best guess. Like if we're coming up on something. Be like, if we go right, it's like a long tunnel with some offshoots or like whatever, so that we kind of, I think if you tell us like what, what, what our yeah. options are, we can as a group decide yeah. what seems the most likely. Also, I'm assuming um, Zareth's uh, mm-hmm. compass will be able to zone in a bit about where we're going. So we use kind of yeah, all Yeah, you have that. made it to the mines. So you can shift Zareth's compass focus to something else. Zareth shifts the co- the uh, the compass's focus to um, to the uh, to the Alhoon because it's right. close. Right. Yeah. I, yeah. I share nice. my dark vision with Whistler and Zareth. Whistler, you have a hundred feet of dark vision. Oh. And Zareth, you get an additional hundred feet to what you already have. Oh. And now I have a hundred as well now. So, for an um, hour, thirteen plus thirteen plus eight is a twenty-one. Twenty-one, yes. So this um, this uh, compass, I like brain farted on the word compass for a while. Um, it says obviously to go in. So, and once you start, basically, what's going to happen is to make this kind of smooth. What is going to happen? You guys are not going to have to worry about making survival checks or like any kind of stuff because once you enter the mines the compass will guide you to the right spot. Why the hell do we have um, this map I, I just want to note, 
I just want to note, Sarah, that I that I have drawn I've drawn my sword and spoken the keyword um, to activate its uh, its flame. So, okay. as you guys I step don't... into the mine, there is a small gnomish fellow who comes and greets you. There, oh, uh, oh. hello. Do, I'm sorry. Do you work here? Well, of course. These these are my family's mines. I turn around and I look at the group and I'm like, like making my face all like, be suspicious. Um, <clears throat> I look to Robin. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hey, um, we're here looking for uh, uh, an Jack, album. No, Jack, Jack puts uh, her hand on Robin's head. All right, Robin and Jack, I need both of you to roll d20s. <laughs> I, I got a 14. I got a 3. My dice hate me tonight. Uh, <laughs> uh, they get the words out. They get... Jack is not fast enough. They get the words so, out. But I'm speaking Gnomish. So unless someone else speaks Gnomish, I know the gnome speaks Gnomish, unless it's a fake gnome, then it might not speak Gnomish. But if it's a real oh, gnome, it. it speaks Gnomish. No, I know it. Yeah. So so I say, hey, we're, we're here looking for an Alhoon. Uh, is there any kind of like weird looking uh parasitic creature that's like kicking around here? Um I mean, so at what good. point does my hand does my hand land on eventually uh, you're a hand to land, but they've already said all this in Gnomish. Right. Most, <laughs> it's just yeah, you guys don't understand what they're saying unless I mean, most assuming... mean Monty, but Monty is just my cousin. I mean, I don't, I, I don't want to be this gnome, but it's kind of. You see this phantom wearing that's all hard. This yeah. is a mine. It's dangerous down here. You, you shouldn't be just wandering around searching for baboons or whatever. Yeah, um, I want to roll an insight check to see if sure, I believe that this gnome is legit. Make an insight check. As oh God! As, as soon as I think this and... gnome is my best friend in the world. I rolled a one. And I already have low wisdom. So it could be true, but I, Robin, just you're believes just that this gnome excited. is my best friend. Robin, you're just very excited to be able to speak gnomish again. Oh, yeah. It's been a while. I'm super happy to be dusting that off. Uh, I will say, as soon as yeah. he, like, hang, like, knocks his hand, like, on his helmet, I'm going to grab my shield and just, like, put my shield over my head to be like, yeah. Well, <laughs> but when he sees this and also when I feel that. When I feel uh, Jack's hand, I, I look up and I'm like, yes. Apologies. Uh, yes, um, thralls exist. God, I mean, no sure. Way. I say in basic or common or whatever, common. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm speaking of gnomish, because, like, th that home probably doesn't know gnomish, you know? It's, like, not that super common. I, I understand, and I'm not putting anything past this Alhoun. He eats brains. I wonder if he oh. can... Uh, take in. Well, um, I'm sorry, Nom. Um, what? I, what is your name? Uh, see, uh, this person I like. Uh, I'm uh, Nikolai Nickelpenny. These are the oh, Nickelpenny. Oh, Nikolai Nickelpenny. It is. Um, huh? it is a pleasure to meet you. But we are here on very important business, and I realize that you have a job to do. But we also have a job to do. We just need to 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 check, to look, to make sure yeah, that this thing is not... Thing. You really should be here. This is kind of a secret mine because, and he leans in, we mine gemstone? No, it's fine. We have a map. We were sent here with a map. We Who know... Look at a map from my mine. That's <laughs> terrible news. This is a terrible day. But do not worry. This map is kept very secret. Except and we were sent... Yes, Whistler, you want to say something? Uh, since I found the map at the Emerald Protectors, does this uh -huh. sound like bullshit to me, or...? We're making an insight check. Can I insight? I help you. Or actually, who has the better wisdom? That's a real question. Not it. Uh -huh. <laughs> none of you. Really, none of you are good at wisdom. Uh, uh, my passive okay. is 18. Oh, I got a 9. Boy. His dice are bad. 
Um, a lot. Yeah. I I could check the mines for you. What's a blaboon look like? Well, no, this is the thing. Uh, we have to be the ones because you I do might universal not. Sign. Uh, they look like Jamie Heinemann? Yeah, it's a Jamie Heinemann. That's up here. Oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> a, that's a walrus. That's, that's a walrus. 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 Mm, so okay. what is this? They have like finger mo- Oh, they're like eating a guy? No, it's like the, uh, the octopus tentacles. That sounds terrible. I know, right? Yes, and you don't want one living in your mind, so... Zareth, Zareth, make an intelligence check. Cool. Um, all right. Self 13 dirty. <laughs> yeah. So that is a 19. Dirty washout. Yeah. Um, Zareth, there is something about this gnome's eyes that don't seem quite right. Well, that is Excellent. Rude. That's just rude, GM. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, I will. <clears throat> I will. Uh, I will be. I will be a very non-lethal boy. Um, okay. But uh, we're about to use the blunt end of a of, of a magical okay. sword. <laughs> okay. well, so wow. this escalating quickly. Yeah, I know. So now, <laughs> I still have my shield over my head because I'm trying. I'm respecting yeah. the hard hat policy. <laughs> Also, we talked about eating no and I just pulled it down closer. <laughs> so, Nikolai's um, armor class is 12. Uh, okay, great. I rolled an 11 on the dice. Uh, so, plus whatever. Yeah, plus, uh, plus, plus four. Yeah, and Nikolai has like five hit points. Like, he's Don't just you a kill no. him. No, uh, he, he yeah. stated non lethal. Little just knocked him unconscious. Yeah, yeah no, he said it's non lethal, but I'm like, dude, yeah. he doesn't have that many hit points. I just, I just, I just wanted to reassure hey. Pax that this one, like, it's just knocking him out. I did roll high on the dice, you guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like he just he gives him a solid swap. If he has five hit points, he is very unconscious. Yeah, so Nikolai, from um, the back you, of your head, you just like right at the apricot, just boom, and Nikolai just. Uh, I turned it around. Oh. Why did you do that? Uh, Zareth doesn't answer the question and begins to walk into the mines fo- uh, following the compass. Zareth, we have work to do, he says. Zareth, why did we could have, we maybe could have borrowed hard hats? Why did you knock the gnome out? You really Zara. think that we can no. wear hard hats? Yes. Zareth, Zareth, wait, 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 wait. Emily, Emily had their hand up. What? Yes. I'd like to roll insight on the whole event. Okay, go for it. Thank you. you I really okay. hard uh, wait, 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 you guys, I need to hear Amelie's number. Yeah. Uh, I got a uh, 22. Um, okay. So uh, I'm, I'm going to look at Finn and Robin, and I'm just going to be like, y'all, Anyone in here assume they're in th- thrall of the uh, Alhoun? Here's, here's the other thing. Zareth has way more experience with these type of creatures than you do. Yeah. You make um, a very when, good point. When, like, when you say that, Zareth reels around with a very stern and serious look on his face and says, we are entering a dangerous place. Trust none but your allies. Move forward quickly, and we shall destroy this creature as soon as we can. Now, let's go. And he, like, you know, very business, and, you know. All right. And, a, and I'm going to, like, nod and follow. I'm right on Zara's heels. Like, I mean, not that close, but, like, I am following because I don't everything I learned about Tiamat and just just everything. Like, I don't trust Zareth right now, so I'm trying to keep him in sight. You wise. (laughs) Alright. Sometimes. (laughs) Alright. So, you guys head using Zareth's nifty special little compass. You guys head down a few shafts until you come and you see six gnomes. Did you say, what did you say, few shaft? Uh, you, you find, you reach, you get to a shaft. Like you, the, the, oh, okay. the takes you the right direction. Until you find um, the rest of the map is blacked out. 
Because it's dark? Because it's dark. Sorry, and we, we, enter, dark. we entered from which direction? You entered from the north. North. The okay. All right. I'm going to get... Well, who doesn't have a good dex? And then, so you guys oh. see standing... Let me Before we yeah. start talking about dex and all that stuff, let me yeah. tell you what you see. So, I, I love the enthusiasm, you guys, I but was, sometimes, I need, yeah, yeah. sometimes I need to describe things. Um, you guys, uh, as you guys are going into the mine, you see what the gnomes have been mining. It's been several, there's, type, there's, a, there's, just, there's quartz deposits down here. So every once in a while, you kind of walk through a room that's all kind of like crystalline and kind of beautiful and uh, and if you've got any kind of light up, which you guys don't, it would kind of shine off of there. As you're walking down uh, the mine shafts and, um, and Zareth's, you know, compass is, you know, the turn and turn and turn and showing you which way to go, you um, come to down one of the shafts and you see six gnomes standing in two parallel lines, completely stunned. And Robin, Good. in yeah. your head, you hear, I'll let yeah. Mike do this. So this is uh, when you guys should be on roll 20, so you can see what's going on. So you would hear uh, the voice you've heard before. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> answering an email. Um, and uh, it's familiar. It's somebody that sounds nervous. Mm -hmm. uh, you would have in your mind like a vision of sort of a, a short dude and there's like gears behind him uh maybe possibly like a memory of the last time you saw him and he looks like he's creeped around the corner and says and he seems frantic he knows you're coming he's gonna bring yeah. down the tunnel oh. you really find another way if you keep moving forward he's just gonna collapse the tunnel and those and then it's cut off Shoot. Uh, uh, Jack? Jack? Uh, Jack and Zareth? Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm at the back of the group, um, so you have to get us both together. Yeah, I'm next okay. to Zareth. I'm, like, yelling, Jack, Zareth, Jack, Zareth! What? <laughs> what? Oh, the guy, the, 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 the little guy, the little, uh, the, the, the guy, the thrall that said you were bad? Zareth, um, he just told me that the tunnel's about to collapse. Uh, like, he said you were bad, and, like, you're cool, so I don't know if I believe him, but he said that the Alhoon is gonna collapse the tunnel and, like, kill all our gnomes, and, like, that I'm not cool with that. But, I mean, I know we can't just leave, so, like, what are we gonna do to keep this whole stuff from collapsing? Um, I'm gonna make an Arcana check, Sarah, to see if okay. there's, um, like, arcane runes that would go off if, uh, you know, and, and deal damage in the area, because that's how I think he's going to do it. Okay, make an Arcana check. Aha! Plus eight. Ten. Eighteen. Ooh. Okay, um, you don't see anything, uh, any kind of runes or anything on the wall. It's, you see marks made by picks. Hmm. Um, can I, can oh, I go ahead. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Zareth, Zareth says there are no there are no trap runes here. If it if it if it would make you feel better better gather gather a gnome as you go, and like he just walks the, and he starts walking down the tunnel. Um, Sarah, can I can I say that uh, since orcs live in the mountains, like I. I, I, we don't live in caves, and also, like, I'm minorly, fam <laughs> minorly uh, familiar mm -hmm. with, like, cave structure. Mm -hmm. Can I, can I kind of assume that? Um, yes, but this isn't a cave. It's a mine. It's, it's a mine, right. Um, it's completely different than a naturally made cave. These... There, can, can I roll something to, like, look around and see if, like, what kind of weak points... Uh, I, Oh, you can make a survival check. That's good. Yeah. But yeah, this isn't a cave. This is a mine. Can I check this for is not some... naturally done. Can I check for man-made traps? Uh, that's 19. Ooh. Okay, so make an investigation check, Nelia. Okay. Um, from what you can tell, uh, Jack, this 
The place looks pretty sturdy. Uh, I'm, I, I look at Robin and I say, I, I appreciate that you are um, trying to look out for us. You're trying to look out for these gnomes. There's no evidence to say that, uh, like, unless he can work the earth in ways that we haven't seen before, because he's only used, uh, like, mind capabilities so far. He is not, um, he has not worked the earth. Nothing has ever come out of the earth to attack us, except for, like, that weird nature thing. But I don't think that he can control the minds like that. But he can lie. Move on. He can lie. There's, no totally. there's, there's no man-made traps here, guys. I got a four. Okay. <laughs> I believe you, though. Is there some way that we should deal with these gnomes? Do we also knock them unconscious? Done. Well, they're already should get them out. They're, they're, stunned. They're, they're stunned. They're stunned. Should we get them out? If we cannot keep going all the way back to the beginning and then coming back with, with, you know, with different gnomes. But I am just wondering, like, is it better if we knock them out? Because could could they be crawled? Like right now, are they waiting? And is it better? Uh, so yeah, so I'd like to use a passive perception, my passive per perception of twenty three, to see if I see the same, um, uh, the same thing in their eyes as I saw in the first gnome. Uh, yeah. I'd say. Do I succeed? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of um, the ones that whose eyes are open. Anyway, I feel okay. like they're part of the trap. If it is trapped, if we touch them, they might trigger the trap. That's just that's my instincts. I didn't. That's just something I think. I just feel like if I, I, don't think I we just feel like them. if they're asleep, then then they cannot be used. Oh my God. I got a sleep spell. I'll walk by though. Team I guess we're totally ready. Looking at Zara, like just I think at that the best option to rescue these gnomes is to kill the thing that could hurt them. But if we leave them at our flank. Mm -hmm. and they become enthralled, would that not be a danger to us? I think we knock them unconscious. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, I nod at what, um, at uh, what you said. Real what, quick, Mike, you're like over here. Uh, let me just take a look. Right, I exactly. Can, I have okay. sleep. I can try and get some of them to sleep. A whistler, I want to do what Eric did and conk one. But I, we can't touch them. That's what I'm thinking. If we touch Whistler, them, we're going to trigger Whistler, something. Whistler, yes, Whistler. Whistler. She's stimming a little. Um, pointing back toward where we came from and um, just repeating something innocuous that Nikolai said in Nikolai's voice to indicate him. Uh, and kind of... She looks frustrated of like how to mime this and then just kind of tries to look very puny and ill to indicate, like, he wasn't that strong, and if these are similar ilk, then if they're at our back, big deal. We will watch for them. I'm, at, I, I'm bringing up the rear. I'll be fine. Okay, then we, we go as quickly as possible, as Zareth says. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay, Robin, in your yeah. head, uh -huh. you have flashes. Uh, what is uh, happening in Robin's head right now, Mike? Oh, uh, I didn't mean in her head. Oh, okay. I'm beating the shit out of the little betrayer. Uh -huh. Backhand that little fucker. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's not in his head. That's on his face. Yeah. <laughs> so they would hear the echoes of me beating the crap out of him? Yeah. Yeah. So you hear from further in, you hear a scream of like, no, master! And you hear like the sound of Flesh hitting flesh. I think this is the then, direction we go. We gotta say them, guys. It's getting real close to dinner time, is what I'm. Let's. You guys, um, we have to save the little friend. My new friend. We're saying I don't care, thrall or not thrall. We're saving that little friend, okay? It's not their uh, fault if they're a slave. Zareth breaks into a run. Okay. Whoa. Um, 
Finland? Yeah, he really keeps up with you. Yeah, you okay, guys. Finland with you. probably Wait. outruns a full play Pause. guy. Pause. You guys can manipulate your icons. Please move them if you shall wish. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm having okay. trouble manipulating. Now my pause. Turn. Mike, roll 10d6 and add 40 to it. Okie dokie. I mean, technically, I did walk up earlier to check four traps. I just forgot to move myself. So. Yeah, if we're using roll 20, and because of we're in an actual encounter now, you can't just say, I move forward. I actually have to see you moving forward. Yeah, I. I technically, I would move earlier. Yeah. I still have my shield um, on my head. <laughs> uh, Sarah, I'm yeah. having difficulty manipulating my, my, my guy. I think one time, because you and Amelie were sharing a. Um, computer a 98 oh. points of damage sir okay were you able to move it that time yeah um, uh, no i moved I it yeah it's a, oh. i still have it controlled by Jack, david m there we go all right i switched it okay so as you guys approach the gnomes a sick like this bright green energy hits one wall and bounces off the ceiling and off the other wall and the walls and the ceiling shake and giant, huge rocks and geodes fall from the uh, from the uh, ceiling. And right around where you see this right here, this right here, and now there are boulders and rocks covering almost to the top. It's almost completely <laughs> <laughs> you hear that from behind the rocks. Well, I guess he uh, was not lying this time, but also it means we are close, but we we need to find another way around. What is this? Uh, I'd, I'd like to just uh, I'd like to test the uh, wall of boulders because and see it, like just how sturdy. It is. Uh, Mike, roll a d6. While this is happening, I cast okay. Warding Bond on Robin. Okay. Six? Yeah, roll a d6. Six. Okay, six. Okay. Robin, make a dexterity saving throw. Me? Yep. Dexterity. Actually, it would be for me. You need to make a dexterity saving throw for Pan, because Pan's closer. Pan. Yeah. Okay, let me do this real quick. Let me see. Uh, 15. Okay. Um, Mike, what is your spell save, DC? Uh, hang on, it's pretty high. Uh, although it's indirect, right? Like, you probably give her yeah. a lower. She's dodging the rock, not me. Yeah. Um, Just give me a, give me a baseline here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm looking in the right up of God. And this is and this is and Robin uh, is a they. Yeah, Robin uses they them pronouns, but also this is also not even just Robin. It's Pan. It's their construct. No, I wasn't even tracking that. Sorry about that. Yes, it's um, okay. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. This right up doesn't have it, so let me. It's fairly high. It's from it's uh, sixteen, I think. Sixteen. Okay. Um. Oh no. Robin. Oh no. So Pan takes oh, no. points of damage. Oh as no, Pan it's over boom <clears throat> lands on Pan. Pan's not feeling so good. Uh I'm going to have Pan cast repair. Restores two D eight plus three on itself. So let me do a two D eight. It's got. It's still got ten hit points as of now. So Pan is a beefy there's boy. There's a sliver of like. Can we like kind of tell if there's? Yeah, there's a little bit of a gap from the ceiling to where the boulders have kind of fallen. There's like there's a, there's a little bit of space. Can I climb up there and look? Um, sure. Make a make a dexterity check. See, because these are kind of wobbly. I don't know that this is a good idea. I think there must be another way around. It could it could it's cause 19. it to come down more. It's a 19. Okay. 
Yeah, Neil, uh, Elia, you you scramble up and you kind of look through, and there are some kind of like arcane lights. Um, uh, you see like arcane lanterns and stuff, and you see this whatever this is. It's something, and there's like a doorway, door, an actual door here, and there's an archway. Um, kind of you can barely see a big archway going into another part of the cavern over to be to your right, left okay. on the map. Cool. I. I'm gonna get back down and I'm gonna get Mick. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna send Mick through the rocks. Just to look. Okay, luckily there are a little bit of light. There's a little bit of light. Yeah. So you send Mick through. Mick climbs up. I'm not gonna make Mick make a saving throw because Mick is very small and does not disturb the rocks. He just like kind of swivels through the rocks. Yeah, yeah. Mick does not make enough. <laughs> Mick does not weigh enough to disturb the, the rocks. And uh, you cannot still, Mick cannot see into the room, but as I don't have a, I for, keep forgetting to make a token for Mick. But Mick sees in this chamber that is, looks like the inside of a geode. There is worked stone. So along the edge of the walls, you see all of these, like this crystalline structure. And then there is what is like worked stone and, um, like some water and then more worked stone with something that looks like a um, some sort of summoning circle with a portal in the middle of it. Cool. That's what Mick sees. I am, and I am Mick now. And I'm gonna yeah. relay said information of what I see. Okay, right, gotcha. Uh, do I see any way in there? Nope, it is a dead end. We have to clear the rocks, guys. It's the only way into the room. There, is there not another tactic that we could take? Because it is clear he knows we are here, and he will, he will have all the time in the world to wait for us to move these rocks. I, there's not, I don't, I don't see anything that's gonna... The element of surprise is lost. Move forward. It, it um, was lost I, when we went into the force field. <laughs> but how we do there. we move forward? Like, there is no way that, like, Pan could get up there. How much do these rocks weigh? I got Mage Hand. I could get the climbing ones. speed. Mage Hand can lift five pounds. Some of these rocks weigh upwards of, like, pebbles. I'll pounds. get the small, I'll move the, the small pebbles. ones and hope that the, like, big ones kind of fall. Um, uh, I'd like to make it up. the top? Work. Like, we could climb up? Okay. Or Wait. There, there is the smallest sliver between enough for a cat. Small, not enough for a gnome-sized cat. It was enough for Mick to get through, and Mick is a ferret. I'm pretty sure it would kill me anyway if I climbed up there and went in by myself to kill Alan <laughs> alone. So it's probably for the best that I can't fit. Okay. Which one? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Zareth, you wanted to do something. Oh. Yeah, Zareth, Zareth wants to say something. Um, I'd like, I will scramble up the pile and make an athletics check to start moving rocks. Because okay. there's, a, there's so, a way so through. Far, okay, Whistler also wanted to say something. Okay, go ahead. So Whistler's, like, seeing that Mick was able to get through is uh, kind of craning her head to see if she can see through that hole and is getting kind of antsy. Um, it's probably just snapping a little bit to get people's attention, but also looking like very frustrated that she doesn't know how to fully convey this. Um, Misty Step, and just kind of looking around to see if anyone knows that spell. Zareth, Zer like, gives you a thumbs up from behind as he's trying to, like, move rocks. <laughs> Alone. Could dig no <clears throat> through? Ja Jack says no to the alone idea. I mean, not. I make clashing sword and axe noises yeah. and shake my head. Um, but Whistler, are you I, trying I to try. tell us? Whistler, are you trying to tell us that you want to try and take down the rocks from the other side? Thumbs up. Um, Big thumbs up. So what I'm concerned about is if you push the rocks towards us, they're going to hurt the. I gesture like pulling them toward myself. So that, like, trying to show that it's, like, both of us working to pull them separately apart on either side. 
Yes, Whistler, but, do that, he says as but, he tries to move But he's the Alu, not on the other side of this wall. Whoever goes to the other side will be on their own in the same space. You have no cover. <laughs> oh, I know you're strong, yeah. but... I know you're very strong, Bird. Yes. I'm going to say, okay. as you guys are all doing this, I am... A fully intent on casting Mage Hand and trying to move rocks with this goddamn hand because I don't know that it won't work. <laughs> so you guys, so this is what's happening. While we're doing this, Jack and Robin and Finlan and Whistler and Zareth are talking. Is anybody, is Zareth is at the top talking and trying to move rocks out of the way. Is anybody else trying to move the rocks? I, I give up Shit. eventually and start moving rocks. Okay. Who is trying I mean, to move rocks? rocks but i have a i have another idea if that's okay a, what is your other idea robin uh i have a catapult spell if we all move back i could i could catapult the shit at one of these rocks at it and try to knock it all back in the, the, the ceiling. Ceiling. i have one more question i have one more question bastet before we try the catapult bastet was there another way in quickly on the map. Uh, do I know this? Nope, there yeah. is no This is a dead one of the dead end nodes. Man, you guys really didn't believe me. Thanks. Oh. Um, Robin, in your head you hear <coughs> I don't blame you and that's it. Look at this wall. Uh, all y'all get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. <laughs> All right, I move. <laughs> sure, I'll move. Do the I thing. In defeat, because Mage Hand is useless. Move. <laughs> I okay. uh, take. I actually take. Um, I I make sure that I'm next to the uh, the stunned gnomes and I, uh, the in front of one of the sets, and I take out my shield and I just stand in front of them because they're helpless. Join you on, on okay. the other side. Uh, I will cast catapult. Let's see how so, it goes. Okay. You choose one object weighing one to five pounds, unless mm -hmm. you're casting it at a higher level in which the 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 uh, poundage increases. Yeah. Yeah. So what are we doing? What what spell level are you casting this at? Oh. Uh, um. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a, a intelligence check to see if I, okay. if I think I should do a level one or level two. Okay. Uh, for my intelligence check, I, cause I'm sure Robin is smarter than I am. Um, intelligence modifier. I've got a 12. Do I think okay. I should do a level one or level yeah, two? Yeah, the heavier the better. I, I do level two. So you can pick up something worth uh, uh, up to five pounds within range, which is 60 feet. The object flies in a straight line up to 90 feet in a direction you choose before falling to the ground. Stopping, so you're getting some of the rocks from behind you. Stopping early if it impacts against a solid surface, which is a solid surface. If the object would strike a creature, that creature is not, it strikes a wall. Uh, when the object strikes something, the object strikes each take 3d8 bludgeoning damage, but you cast it at level 2, so it takes 4d8 uh, bludgeoning damage. So roll 4d8. Pick up. I said they're using that like spiky on me. I'm going to try to really like... Well, this guy. Don't, 4D8. don't you want to move yourself back for the catapult? I mean, I'm as far back as I can go and still get a good shot. Oh, I thought, I thought the, uh... No, you're over here. That's the yeah, wall. This is the, the wall. wall. Yeah, this yeah. is the wall right here. Oh. You were, you were in it. Okay, back here. I get as far back as I can and still get a good shot. Oh my gosh, where did my thing go? Where's my frickin'... Okay, I'll just... I'm so sorry, you guys. I just lost my... Oh, here it is. Can we oh. move these gnomes? Like, oh, instead of just putting our bodies between them and the yeah, rock wall, can we literally they, do They weigh, like, 30 pounds. Excellent. <laughs> well, I'd like to okay. just move them. <laughs> okay. 
So, so I assume like maybe Finland and Whistler and Jack just start picking up gnomes and moving them. Yeah, picking yes. up gnomes and moving them. Under each arm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like as well to make quick work of it. Yeah, I think it's like our tanks kind of pick up a gnome each and like just. <laughs> We'll put them in a corner all next to each other. Yeah. How you've got them. Actually, I'm just going to move them off of the map. You guys move them out of this particular tunnel. Yeah. But they are still, they are basically, they're breathing, but they're stunned. All right. 4d8. Uh, 25. Okay. Plus, yeah. Yeah, 25. Uh, whatever it is that you send forward the wall of rocks shakes and it starts tumbling backwards. So the rocks are going forward and there is, it's cleared about half of the wall, which is about 10 feet. So you have like a, now you have like a five foot wall of rocks and a five foot gap at the top. We need to go. We need to go now. Yes. Right yes. on up. Yeah. And Close enough. Uh, Let's go. Yeah. Finland's over the, whoops, over this wall. Yeah, yeah, Jack's taller than the wall at this point. Yeah, hey, I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. I'm gonna save you. Uh, okay. I'm, actually, I'm gonna go fast. I'm gonna look at Jack, and I'm going to touch his shoulder, and I'm gonna be like, "This is. It's gonna be fine." And All right. As soon oh. as the first I... people that come oh. over the wall that I saw were Finland and Whistler. Finland and Whistler, you need to make some That's sort of. Right. Right. We are making what? Dexterity. Making a dexterity. Oh. Make a dexterity saving throw. You know, 22. Okay. 17. Okay, so you both save, so you only take half damage. What uh, is the damage, uh, Mike? It's 28, so half is 14. As a, or did you cast greater invisibility or invisibility? Oh, no, no. I, I knew it was going to be visible, but okay. only around the corner, so they would see him briefly. Okay. What was that damage? So you, 14. You each take 14 damage as a lightning bolt streaks out from around the corner and hits both of you. I scream. But I'm determined. Uh, so yeah, um, Finland, Finland's just going to have this whole, you know, like ah! and but then just keep pushing forward because all I've got is that directive. Move fast. Now I need everybody to roll initiative. Well, I was going to give Jack uh, visual and blessing. Nelia has cast a spell on you that gives you advantage on initiative. And I have asked everybody to roll for initiative because at this point, it is time to roll for initiative. Everybody roll for initiative. Do not tell me your number until I ask for the range. So, did anybody roll above a 20? Zareth, what did you roll? Uh, I rolled a natural 20. Okay. Plus two, 22. 22. Okay. Did anybody get between a 15 and a 20? Benlin, what did you get? 17. Okay. Anybody else? 15 for Whistler. 15 for Whistler. And what did you get, Jack? A 19. Okay. Between a 10 and a 15... Well, I'm, did you need mine, by the way? No, I got your. Uh, yes, okay. I would need yours too. Yes. Cool. Thank you. Um, well, it's in the chat. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Beautiful. Okay, so I got a ten for Boston and a ten for Robin. The cat. I think who has a higher dexterity? Both of you are muted. So you guys just decide who goes okay. first. Mine's two. I so, want to go first because uh, I I've got stuff to abuse on people. Okay, and Robin and then Hofstad. Okay, um, who has not told me their initiative yet? I got a nine. Nellie, I got a nine. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I have everybody's initiative. Zareth, you are going first. Okay, um, I have moved six squares. Um, okay. And do I see anything new? Because I don't actually, I don't actually know where the guy is. You see him right here to the south of you. Well, it's like four. He is, he is twenty-five feet south of you. 
okay. Excellent. Um, I am going to, um, so I have moved, uh, I would have moved diagonally towards him if that was, if that was a, if that was a possibility. Um, no, um, you're blocking your way. So now you now you've moved into the room and now you can see him. You hadn't seen him before. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Um, I am going to, so I've done my movement. I'm going to cast the, um, I'm going to cast the haste spell. Okay. On my, on myself, um, giving myself an additional, uh, an additional action. Okay. Um, and I'm going to move towards I'm going to use that to move directly on top of on top of him. Okay. So I'm I will gonna take, move. Oh, sorry. I'm going to take my additional hasted action to move. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. I'm going to take my additional hasted action to move adjacent to him. Um, Sarah, I have the Mage Slayer feet. So if he oh. casts any spells in my vicinity, oh, he's in trouble. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, it is Jack's turn, but Jack is not on. Problem. So as it stands, Jack, you are still on the other side of the wall. Uh, I'm taller than the wall at this So point. you would have to crawl, crawl. Right. Uh, I want to get everyone else over it first. So I'm going to help anyone who is trying to uh, climb over it or jump or athletics check. I am, I am assisting. Okay, so that is your turn, is you're taking the help action, and that would be for, for Bostet or Nelia if they asked for help. So yes. that is your turn, you are taking the help action. Fantastic. Um, Finland, it is your turn. You have just been hit by a lightning bolt. Okay. Um, I am... Let's see. Yeah, he's easily within range. These are columns that are between... That are here, right? Oh, where'd he go? Yeah. Oh, he's the, still down in this corner. But you, this is rock. Okay, okay, okay. I see. Oh, I see. Okay, so I've got to get in. Okay. And cast lightning bolt and came back over here. Okay. So I'm going to come in then between these columns. Okay. Uh, scope out what's going on. So enter into the chamber of doom. Where is, what do I see? Okay, I know I see Zara here. And then right next to him is a... Oh, right, you're on top. Right. I was like, I know that the token was here. <laughs> um. Okay, then I'm going to... Uh, I can only get to here to finish my movement, so... Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm actually... I'll just stop there. Okay, uh, next up is... Um... Mike, it is your turn. Okay, so I'm going to uh, try to... The first thing I'll do is I'll turn and then in a mocking voice go, Oh no, save me! He's going to kill me! And then turn to the Slayer and uh -huh. uh, use the psychic version of Dominate Monster. Ooh. Mm. So, oh! So, no. what's the save on that? 16. Intelligence. Uh, intelligence, okay. Intelligence. So Sarah's making an intelligence saving throw. Good thing I'm a wizard. <sighs> oh. Um, so, uh, Sarah, I crit it. Okay, crit, crit my, success. I uh, crit success. Yes, my okay. dice, my dice beeth fire. Okay, natural twenty. So um, there is something in the back of your head, like you start feeling tentacles on the back of your head, even though there's none there, and it starts sliding down your spine and up the top of your head but you just kind of like grit it and bear it and push your head yeah this is this is not new for for Zareth. <laughs> yeah Zareth, you have felt this before uh, anything else you would like to do mr alhoon uh i well that's my action so was that was that a spell sarah no no it wasn't. i tried to say that up front it was not a spell it's not a spell oh, okay it's an inherent psychic ability. Yeah. Um, my angry feet doesn't happen. Yeah, he knows better than to cast a spell against you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Probably. Um, so I could move, but he's in—he's in contact with me, right? So yeah, he's right next to you. It would be, I it would be 
Yeah, it would be an attack of opportunity. If you yeah, did. no, I'm just going to stay where I'm at because I don't have okay. I don't have anything I can use as a... No, those are all actions. No, I got to wait out. I got to... Okay, After cool. trying the big one, I got to wait around, so... Okay, uh, Whistler, it is your turn. If you barrel forward my full 30... Uh, seeing where the action's at, I'm going to cast Misty Step. Okay. To poof right over here. Okay. So uh, so that's movement and bonus action. I'm going to attack. Okay. Roll to attack. I'm going to echo. Mike, uh, do you, you have your hit points, right? You have how many hit points you have? I do, yes. Okay, cool. I didn't know what I needed to take keep track of. Uh, I can keep track of a lot of healing. Okay, cool. So I might have something to do okay. once um, once Whistler's attack is resolved. Okay, cool. Uh, 23 to hit. Yeah, that's probably going to hit. Yeah, that's a hit. Yeah, Mike is nodding. Um, real, qu- real quick. Yes. Um, uh, Zareth, um, as like as you appear behind him, um, Zareth speaks, uh, speaks angrily and draconic and says, strike his heart. Um, you may switch your uh, dice roll with a natural twenty, because it's one of it. Uh, it is one of my dice, uh, one of my divination dice. So you may choose to crit this attack, um, and uh, I recommend smiting and just throwing an absolute bonkers amount of dice. Please, Paladin. Uh, maybe, roll a bonkers can amount I maybe of crit? Can I maybe crit on my second attempt? Is this one sure, already yeah. hit, or is this too yeah. meta? No, you can. Okay. You can your second one. Yeah, it's fine. Because you didn't know he was going to do that, so okay. you can crit the one. Yeah. Cool. So the first one's regular. It was uh, nine damage. Uh, okay. The second one is a crit. Is your axe That's red? Uh, my one. axe, yes. Okay. Uh, is this a magic axe? It is. It is not a magic axe. Okay. No. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, Beep, bop, boop. But if you, like if you right, slide him, in, it counts as magic. It does, yeah. Which will get through his magic resistance. Maybe. The nat 20? <laughs> no, it's, 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 uh, the, the smite would. The smiting damage would be magical damage. And just to make sure I've got this right, Alhoons aren't fiends. No. They're aberrations. Okay. So, that's, that's just cool. racist. You gotta cut yes. that out. <laughs> You're an uh, I'm going to do. I'm going to do a divine smite, which lets me add four d8, and I don't have enough in this set. So, okay. all right. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how that's going to interact with what Mike did earlier, because technically it's not a spell, but you use spell slots for divine smite. Smites are not spells. 32. Yeah. They consume resources as spells, but aren't right. spells. Well, Mike has something up. His character has something up that I'm that I'm looking at. Uh, it's a matter yeah. of something being cast through it. Yeah. The smite would not be triggered by that. It yeah, the smite was cast on, basically on the axe. So, yeah, yeah, so 32. Yeah, 32. Okay, and that part is magic. Got it. Yep. And Robin, it is your turn. Hell yeah, it is. Okay. So, am I? Where is Jack right now? Since I know Jack the token, is the, Jack is on the other side of the wall. Okay. So I jump. Uh, I I climb up onto Pan, and uh, Pan and I charge ahead. We move forward. Cause it, I'm. I need Pan to get to that other side. Oh, hold on. I was checking how. I just checked this. Pan speed is further than mine. Yeah. Okay. So I get on pan. Mm-hmm. Oops. Grabbing the wrong dang thing. We jump, we uh, scramble up over the wall because we are tiny, small beings. No, and pan on. Is medium. Huh? Pan is a medium sized creature. Uh, I, I did. Okay, I wasn't being literal. I meant we're not. Well, also, if you, are, <laughs> if you are riding pan, it's going to be harder to do that. Because that's. Not if I'm in pan. I've gotten in pan. You are in Pan, but that's it's still going to make Pan heavier than he nor- than they normally are. Uh, a Pan can roll athletics. Would you like for a Pan to do that? Yeah, so it's either, are, either are you in Pan and Pan is scrambling up the wall, 
or you and Pan are going separately up the wall? I have to be in Pan because I can't get that far on my own little feet. Okay, so, so. wall athletics for Pan, yeah. All right. Pan you with you. Oh yeah, Pan. Pan gets a 21. Pan okay, is so athletic. Pan yes. So Pan and I get over the wall and on our way, we touch Jack. No, you are already on the other side of the wall. You are already on the side of the wall with the Alhoun. You, you and Pan, you and Pan were right here on this side of the wall. Jack is on the other side with Bostet and Nalia. You were already on the other side of the wall. Jack didn't move in their turn? No. Nope. They didn't climb through the wall? They did not. She did not. She stayed on the other side to help the other two over. Okay. Then, whoa, where was I? Where did I start? Oops. You were, you were over here. Okay. Then I'm going to go over here to Jack and I'm going to cast. You have to go now. up and over the wall for Pan. Jack is back here. Wait, back which here. side was I on? You were over here. You were on the side of the wall with the Alhoun. Jack is on the, this rift right here is the wall. You were already over, up and over it. You had okay. already gone up and over. You and Pan, you would okay. have to back up and back yeah. down. I'm sorry, we can't do that. Nah, man, we're, get, yeah. we're getting down. We're getting down in it. So Pan and I use our movement speed to come down here to Finn. And uh, we're going to imbue Finland with Bravery. And since we can only do one person right now, because we can only touch one person, we're going to do it with uh, level one. So level two, we need two people, but that's not how that's not how it worked out. So I'm going to cast Wisdom. Okay. And uh, I've never done this to Finn, so Finn, here's what you get. A willing creature you touch, Finn, are you willing? Is imbued with bravery until the spell ends the creature is immune to being frightened and gains temporary hit points equal to my spell casting modifier at the start of each of its turns when the spell ends the target loses any remaining hit points from the spell so every turn you get three points for a minute which i believe is 10 rounds so yeah yeah minute is 10 rounds it's, impo it's important to note that temporary hit points do not stack on each other so at the start of the turn, you will get them. If yeah. you lose them, then you get them back. Yeah. So you don't get three, and then three, and then three, and then three, and then three. All right. I like um, that one. Bostet, it is your Thank turn. Thank you for that clarification. Bostet, it is your turn. I'm going to climb over the wall, obviously. Um, so that I'll use probably all the movement that I have. Okay. Yeah. So that's my turn. Okay. Uh, do you want? Do you have a longbow or anything you want to use? Yeah, but I think to get over the wall, wouldn't I use all my movement, like both? Um. And... Yeah, thirty feet. Yeah, you can move. You can move thirty feet, and then you can dash to see everything. You can move another thirty feet after that to kind of like move in here where everybody else is. I'll do that. Okay. That's what I'm. Gonna... Cause I don't know what y'all, I don't see whoever y'all are seeing. Yeah. On my well, roll what? 20. Uh, I just moved your character. Right. And I Al guess, I guess. Oh, that's the Alhoun? The Alhoun is right here next to Zareth, yeah. I, oh, I just don't see their. Yeah, we don't see him. We don't see the Alhoun. I was just assuming okay. it was under oh. Zareth. I see him, he's right there. Uh, I see. Yeah. Really? yeah. So look for the really beautiful this guy. purple skinned stunner. That that's Yeah, that, you're that. clicking on Zareth for me. Okay, Zareth, I'm gonna move over Zareth over there. Yep. Ah. Now I can see him. Okay, <laughs> now I'm moving Zareth back. Okay. There we go. All right. You so move right wherever you need to go. Okay. Prepare for uh, my next round and gotcha. Amelia, it yeah. is your turn. Finally, okay. Bring up the rear. Uh, I 
Go! I use my cunning action to get right up. Oh, I need to move this. So I can use my cunning action to dash, and I'm gonna go right here, and I'm gonna try and hit him with my dagger, my fancy magic dagger. Okay. Go for it. Oh, I'm flanking too! Advantage! 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 Oh, I've never done this before. I've never played close range people. Welcome! Welcome to the club. That's horrible. That's a five and a three. Never mind. You're kicked out of the club. Plus seven. So five plus seven is a twelve. <laughs> fairly certain it does not hit, Mike. Is that correct? I'm fairly certain you're... It's, uh, he's got like a 14 armor. It's not a high armor class. Oh, but so close. It's, uh, 15. Yeah, still more than 12. Hey, 12? Yeah. Hey, that's pretty close. Uh, yeah. That's... Three away. Yep, that's hey, all I can hey, do. Team. Yeah, hey team, I have another I have another high number for um for you. I have a seventeen on my divination divination dice. So if you really need to succeed in something, just like be like, hey Zareth, can I borrow you know, can I borrow it? Just you know. Okay. Yo, bro, div me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and Zareth, it is now your turn. Okay. Um I am going to make uh my first first attack uh, I'm gonna take my attack action to attack the Alhoon. Okay. Um, and then with, with my uh, with my additional action from my haste, I am going to use the aid action so that the next person that attacks the Alhoon has uh, has advantage. Okay. Um, um, and, and I'm flavoring it that um, Zareth is just like pursuing and attacking the the Alhoon with such ferocity that if the Alhoon doesn't like pay close attention to Zareth, he's gonna uh-huh. he's gonna get stabbed. So okay. Um, okay. So. That's going to be a, uh, a, a four. Uh, is that a, no, because that's no, because I didn't say that. Uh, so that is a uh, that is a seventeen, um, and then I'm going to power attack, um, and that is going to be a twelve. So seventeen and twelve. All right, and that's magic, right? Uh, yes, it's a magical yeah. four. Okay. Um- does the does the twelve hit? Because I don't think the twelve hits. Twelve does not hit. No. Twelve does not hit. Okay, so you just take a regular. You just take a regular regular bop. Um. Okay. Eight, three, four, plus four, plus five, plus seven, plus nine, eleven, fifteen. Uh, twenty damage. Seven fire. If that matters. All right. Uh. Uh. Annika, your question about your blade, it's not a D6, it's a D4, because it's a dagger. Oh yeah, that's right. I meant i meant to write yeah. D4, not D6. That's on me. Yeah, so you've had it for two years, so it's 2D4. Okay. But then the D6 would be your sneak attack, yeah. Yeah, that's, I, I meant to say D4, yeah. not D6. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, so uh, the next person to go is Jack. Okay, uh, so Jack... Um, gets over the wall. Yep, you are the only one on the other side of the wall. Can uh, can you please, I, since I can't get on roll 20, um, mm-hmm. can you please describe to me what I see? When you get on the other side of the wall, you still kind of have to move a little bit further, so you would have to use your dash action in order to see everybody. So as soon as you get on the other side of the wall, you see in front of you there is a door. There's like a doorway and a closed door. But to your right, there's a giant archway, and you see a big open cavern with crystals. And you hear noise and yelling in that cavern, but it's still out of your eyesight because they're kind of around a corner. So you would have to use your... um, your dash action to move into the tavern. I'm, a, I'm, I'm also going to use my action surge, so I'll go ahead and I'll dash. Okay. But then I still have an action on top of that if so I so extra choose. 20, the extra 30 feet is going to get you about right here. And what you see there is you, you're right next to Robin, and right in front of you, uh, about 10 feet in front of you, is Nelia. And um, about... Oh, where's the... 15 feet... In front of you and to your right, you see a white mind flare with black robes, and you can see that they're like tentacly face coming out from underneath the robe. So you're not gonna mention Stylish? Yes, he's a very yes, Pax has sent a picture in the group chat of a screenshot that I can't do on my phone because I'm on my computer. Okay. The pale with, with black robes. So some so much more than that. Uh, he's 
there's a there's actually the the white is actually kind of a lovely pearlescent if that's something that you're interested in I, 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 I'm definitely theater of the minding this a little bit more than trying to like yeah look at uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. what's then look at my phone because uh, but uh thank you so much for giving me that accessibility option yeah um and uh so what i'm gonna do i've i've used my dash I've, i'm around the corner uh -huh. um i see everything that's going on uh <clears throat> let's see um you do not have enough movement to get into melee with the alhoon right you, have, you are 15 feet away from him Okay. Do do do. Uh, is uh, if I tried to shoot an arrow at him, like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shoot. Uh, yeah, you got it. You got a straight shot. Yeah, that's that's what I was asking. Thank you. Yeah, you All have right. one point. You're good. You're kind of shooting between Finland and Nelia, but you can, like, between one is like here and one is here, and you like the arrow is going like there. Yeah. With and advantage, right? Yeah, technically the Alhoon is paying full attention to Zareth, so you have advantage on this attack roll. Alright, it, it DM. Yeah, that's it. It's one of it's one of Zareth's abilities. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I took the I took the eight action on my yeah. haste action. Yeah, right, it's that's, one, yeah that's one of the things Zareth did is the next person is is getting advantage, so you have advantage. Okay, very cool, very cool. All right. Um, that did, yeah, advantage did not help. Uh, <laughs> so I appreciate I my my arrow goes like I I, I well, zoomed have, in. You have two attacks. Your yeah, second uh, advantage. I, I kind of want to describe it though. I want to describe this whiff. Uh, so I I rushed in, took it in, tried to figure out what the hell was going on, like notched my arrow, and it just went straight over the Alhoon's head. So you now have your second attack because you did take your action surge. So since you took the attack mm -hmm. action, you get your second attack. So you can now that you've rushed in, shot shots gone wide, you can yeah. try another one. You do not get advantage on this one. You just get advantage on the first one from from Zara. Uh, so that is that it's an eleven. Okay, does not hit. Next person to go is Finland. All right, um, Finland's gonna uh, go forward. Ooh, I'm gonna hit the wrong thing. Okay, I'm gonna uh, step this whole five feet closer. Mm -hmm. Get it. Uh, and then I'm gonna swing uh, at his head. Okay, with my great axe. So rude. I know, right? You have no place here. Uh, 18. That hits. All right. Move on to the other big puppy die. 15. Axe is magic? Uh, no. no. I'm just a badass. Um, uh, okay. And I gotta hit again. My extra attack. Uh, 13. Miss. Nope. And what? All right. Uh, any bonus actions or anything? Um, no. But could you do me a favor? How oh. hot this um this sort of like geode rock face that we're pressed up against? Yeah. Like how tall is that, or how steep of an angle? It, uh, it goes pretty. It's it's like a you're in like a dome dome oh, okay. face. So it's kind of going a little bit at a curve. But uh, I would say the highest point of the dome is probably about sixty feet. Does this have perches or is it pretty smooth? It's, no, it's it's geodey, but it's not like big geodes coming out. You would have a very very hard time getting perches to like climb. Okay. Then I stand my ground. Okay, Alhoon, friend, friend. I'm using air quotes here, friend. She it is your turn. Her. What are you she going to do? So a little rumpled. So now that you see them up close, they're the kind of being that is very particular about their appearance and their demeanor. So it seems annoyed that there's like a couple of blood flecks on the very expensive robes. Leans forward and says, your world will pay for this. Plane shift. 
So he casts Plane Shift. You guys see, like, a space in front of you open into this, like, black void. And as it closes, he starts to close, he steps in, and it's gone. Do we all get um, Attack of Opportunity? It's not a spell. <laughs> nope. He's not passing. He with that word cast. Well, uh, it, that was yeah. a psychic ability. It, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's, it's not a spell. It's something that just happens. You do not get an attack. Do we? Did the did the, the did the buzz? Did the mind buzz stop? Yes. As soon as he is off this plane of existence, the mind buzzing stops. Where, oh, where has he here. gone? I throw down my my bow uh, in anger. Be fucked up. Okay, but where's the thrall? Where's the he? He didn't take him with him. We. Search, search this room. He maybe there is a way to get to the Alhoun. Is that? But where is? Where's? Where's the little one? The one? The one that was trying to help us? Maybe there somewhere is? in this in this big chamber. Are you here? here? I'm still looking. Robin. Robin does yeah, not see so that and accept well, that. Well, means... You guys haven't gone his room yet. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, that's the. We want to go. Okay. So I say split up. Some of us look in the big dome area and uh i will whoever's closest over here we can go check the door do we notice the giant portal in the middle of the goddamn room yeah there's a giant portal in the middle of the room i yep. want to investigate the portal <laughs> okay so, so uh neely is investigating the portal who is uh, ra uh i'm uh, going with her okay whistler is going with uh any who is invest who is who is doing what else uh Bostet, what are you doing you know, came around the corner and then poof, he's gone. So I'm like, I breathe a little bit of a sigh of relief because I didn't know what we were in for. Um, but I end up just going to the portal and walking around it. Okay, so Neil yeah. Sorry. Whistler. And, okay, so Robin's walking around the big domed area. Uh, was Looking there for the thrall. Okay, Zareth, what are you doing? Um, the reason you are on this plane of existence is no longer on this plane of existence. Yeah. Um, Zareth, is t Zareth is taking five and like trying to figure out what... He, 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 he needs... He, he's having a moment. Okay. Uh, and uh, Jack, what are you doing? I am... Um... I, I he heard Finn suggest uh, splitting up, and so I am mentally making sure that every uh, fighter that we have has a magic user with them, so, and and vice versa. So I'm I'm naturally going with Robin. Uh, I know that Whistler is with Nelia, um, and I'm sorry. Nelia and Bostet, so both all yeah, three of them. Nelia and Bostet, and uh, so um, where are Finn and Zareth? Zareth is where the Alhoun left. Zareth is not moved, yeah. and Finland has and, gone to the door. So I've up. gone back through the entrance into the dome, uh, which is, you know, flanked by these two columns, but when we came around from the rock fall, yeah. right in front of us was a door, but we bypassed the door to go into the big chamber. So I'm going back to the door. Uh, Jack grabs, uh, or not grabs, but like, Jack, um, uh, Jack mo or gets, gets Robin's attention, um, and then, uh, is like, hey, let's, let's go with Fen. Okay, before Mike logs out, because he says he's super busy, Mike, thank you for being an extraordinarily great uh, spooky octopus man. Claps. We have a dice bag for you, so it's kind of Aww. like the black and gray on one side, but the other side is octopi. Um, so I would need to get your information to where we can send you or drop off to you this dice bag for thank you for being our big bad. I'll That's send you send me a message. But yes, yeah, so you kind of have fun wacky octopods on one side, and then like nice dark gray metal. It's kind of like a metaphor for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, nothing personal. You're some of my oh. very favorite porgs. Is... <laughs> oh. I was just playing a very bad 
dude. We so, love you either way. You're yeah. a delight. <laughs> Take care, all. Bye. Thank you. I'll get you Bye. eventually. Yeah, <laughs> one day. <laughs> one day. <laughs> two, two years later, Mike comes back. I'd like to do an investigation check because I am tooth and comb looking through this cavern trying to find okay, make that an little... investigation check. Which uh, hopefully, maybe I'll find some cool stuff, even if I don't find a... Investigation. Investigation. I am uh, unprepared for this. Oh boy, I got a plus six investigation. I got an 18 investigation looking tooth and comb over every inch of this, you trying to find, see anything of this thrall, but you do hear from the other side of the rock wall, six little voices, well five, so, yeah, six voices going, Hello? What's happened? What? Is there a cave-in? Did we get hit? The gnomes have woken up from their stun because the person who had their brains fried is gone. Is there any uh, Alhoon goodies? Not that you can see in this room. Alright, into the portal. There's nothing in here, guys. I've looked every... Freaking inch, me and Pan. There's nothing in here. We we gotta go under the portal. We're not. No, hold on. Not hold it. Come with me. There's a door over here. <laughs> so the the three of you who are at the portal first, you can all make either. I would say make Arcana checks. For those of you who are at the portal, make Arcana checks. This is not investigation. This is Arcana. I, I, I'll I'll have snapped out of it. I I just needed. Okay. To um yeah sorry that one was for whisper five for three. five do what i did better than all of you seven <laughs> uh, i got a 13. i didn't do great okay <laughs> so um you come up to this portal and unlike the other ones where you can kind of like stick your head in you could like stick your head in and like be in the other world and like see the plane of earth or see the plane of ice or whatever it is you do that up in here but as soon as you put your head to it it goes from this like beautiful like with purple grass grasslands and like these like blue reeds and stuff like that and then it like goes and like shifts and goes to a plane where you see an endless battle being fought on like three sides and then it goes ah, 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 and shifts again and it goes to a different plane of existence that you can all you can see in front of you is water water as far as the eye can see and then it shifts again and it just keeps shifting every about five seconds or so there's a different vista and a different landscape this is an unstable portal does, does, it, ever, does it ever show the astral sea um Every, like, I rolled a one, so no. Dang, okay. That's fine. We don't need to lose another um, character. Um, I'm not gonna go in. Um, Fuck that. There, there is a door over here. Yeah. I'm like, just all I see is like no, all no, my no. friends' butts, like, as no. they're like leaning over looking at this. <laughs> Jack's, Jack is trying to get Robin to come with, with you. Um, so Zareth, what do you, however you want to tell other people that this is an unstable portal, but that's what this is. This is an unstable portal. This is an unstable portal that needs to be closed. <laughs> like, the very straightforward line. <laughs> okay. And Finland's like, and the, hey, you guys. I, I head to the door where Finland is because, yeah. Okay. Um, I want to check it. I just make sure, like, knock. Investigation. All right. Mm -hmm. So are you going to wear your octopus as a hat? 13. A very, a very lovely fascinator. Right. My bun in the, in the inside so that it like sticks on my head. But it's not doing it. Oh. Okay. What was that investigation, Finland? 13. Um, it's surely locked. It's definitely locked. Um, this door appears locked. Has anybody found a key? Uh, Jack I is hear gonna 
How, what 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 material is the door made out of? It Metal. is stone. Oh, it's it stone. is stone. Oh well, nay. Nah, I hear it's locked, and I immediately I've been like staring at this portal the whole time, like not looking away. I hear locked, and I like whip my head around and go, "I can do that," <laughs> and walk <laughs> over there. over. <laughs> After just staring intensely at this portal the whole time and not looking. Are there any hinges? Does the door have Good hinges? The door does not have hinges. Right. I'm gonna try and open it with thieves tools. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you're gonna make a thieves tools check, which is gonna be your dexterity plus your proficiency with thieves tools. Cool. Oh, these dice are way better. Uh, twelve plus four, and then plus three. It's twelve plus seven. That's nineteen. Okay. So you, Nelia, kind of comes rushing out of the way, and, and you guys have you've kind of seen Nelia fight a little bit. But she kneels down, puts your ear up against the thing, whips out a roll out of her back pocket, and is like... Three, four minutes! And then... And the door can be slid. The door slides in and out of place in the stone. You can now, like, kind of grip it and slide it back out of the way. I do that. Uh, as soon as Delia does this, Delia, like, looks at everybody and is like, have I claimed a spot on the team now? Yes, yes, <laughs> we can stay. Uh, we can so be the one. into the room and immediately kind of goes into defensive stance just in case. Kind of looks looks left, looks right. Um, you all you see in here is there is a, not really a bed. There's just like a pile of stuff. There's a rug. There's some uh, up in this corner right here. Um, there's some alchemical supplies. Um, there are some bookcases. Ooh. There is uh, like a fireplace, and you do see that puppet. That as soon as you walk in, so there's like sort of mockingly sitting in a chair. There's all that actually exists about that lie, which is the the puppet he used to make sure his imitation would be consistent. There is no actual thrall. Uh, Robin, you see that dude that you'd seen in your dreams and in your visions, and it is a stuffed little doll. Dude. Uh, Zith, Zith, do, do mind flayers control people by making like poppets of them? Uh, Zareth, Zareth shows a moment of concern on his face and says, oh, um, I'm sorry for what happened to you. At about this time, one of the, you see kind of up and over the wall, a little gnomish head poke through and go, Hello? Oh, what are you doing in our mine? Um, uh, so don't you I come think... back here. It is it is dangerous. We will come to you. Who I start doing as much stuff as I can inside of Pan. Just cramming stuff inside of Pan. Not even looking at it. Just shoving, shoving as much as I can into Pan. Oh, good. Look, we got oh. a rug. We are Perfect. the fearsome six plus this lizard. <laughs> And she's like, okay, um, just, our boss's office is back there, um. Conscious. Um, Finland goes ahead, figures this area seems pretty safe, and Robin is clearly, like, um, using it as a rummage sale. Uh, Zareth has probably got stuff under control, so, uh, Finland's gonna go back over the wall to go talk to the gnomes. Okay, this is what you get, Robin, in your mad scramble to grab things. There is a ring made of wood that's got a a, a, a wooden rose carved in it. Beautiful. There is a, a, it's kind of like a little, it's like, the easiest way to describe it is like a little cosmetics case. You don't know what's in it, but there's something, there's some stuff in it. And there is a very cool looking helmet. Oh, yeah. If it's not nailed down, I'm taking it because I figure there's got to be good stuff in here. And there is a potion that has something big and moon shaped kind of floating in it. If any of you want, if any, if you guys want to see if any of it's magic, I got a spell for that. (laughs) Magic is my specialty. I got it. Okay. I think a few of us have that, but. Um, 
is I'm trying to see if I'm going back and looking in the room and be like, ooh, but are there any plants? There are not any plants. The closest thing is the ring made out of wood that's got a rose on it. I would like to investigate the golden dome thing. Um, that is actually not the Alhoons. I still that... want to look at it. <laughs> um, you see the Alhoon had to like move stuff out of the way and like you open it up and you see in it is like mining equipment. <laughs> it's just a storage for mining equipment. This was useless. It's so, all like you open it up and you're like, oh, there's like picks and like all kinds of other is mining there a crowbar? things. Yeah, sure. I want a crowbar. I'm gonna take a crowbar. Okay. Yeah. This is mining uh, story. With an arcana check of sixteen, uh, do I recognize any of these items? You don't recognize any of the items, but all of them are magical. I put the ring on. It's surely pretty. Does it do anything? Do I notice? Do I feel different? You do not feel any different. I go over. I see. I guess me and the Alhoon are engaged old now. player just putting a ring on I... me. I have like a little heart attack. I was like, oh, no. I go over as I see Robin doing all this stuff with ma clearly magical stuff. And I want to cast Identify on one of the, on the ring that Robin just put on. Okay, Go you on. can identify. I identify. And I am going to share this to you with you guys on roll 20. This is the Band of the Dryad, a simple wooden band that appears to be entwined by evergreen vivy vines. The top is decorated with a small rose, which remains bloomed and perfect until the ring's effect is used. Each day at dawn, the rose blooms again. This band has a single charge, which recharges recharges each day at dawn. The power contained within the rose, pe rose said petal, but may be expended to heal a target the wearer can touch by 2d4 plus 2 hit points. Once used, the rose wilts and falls off the ring, and this effect may not be used again until the next dawn. Must be attuned by a druid or nature cleric. Okay. So, yeah. I identify it and I say, Robin, give it to me. You can't use it. I'm not. No, I'm, I'm going to give this to Jack. This is beautiful. Jack can't use it either. I can use it. But you don't know that yet. The only person who knows it has to be attuned by a druid or nature cleric is Nelia. You, no Wait, one is no magical. One... No one that I can think of can use it. I. Oh, she doesn't know that I'm part druid. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Nelly, yeah, that much. I've seen that Nelly has thieves tools and has been a little, a little sneaky. <laughs> I'm happy to have Nelly on the team, but I'm not going to hand the magical items to Nelly yet. I'm not quite there on my journey. You saw me cast identify. You want me to cast identify on the helmet? I'll cast identify on the helmet. <laughs> oh, I just, I, I'm going to hold on to it. Uh, well, yeah, what's up with this helmet? Uh, what is that? I don't even have. I don't have identify. I really should. Oh, I put the helmet it. on. You put the helmet on. I just shared it to everybody in Roll20. Uh, it, it requires attunement. It is a helmet that's sort of slash Viking slash uh, Norman slash Roman-esque in shape. It's got with horns. Two bulls, with two bull's horns coming out of it. It is the helm of bovine strength. Whilst wearing this helmet, your strength score increases by two. Amen. You are strong like bull. <laughs> I, I, feel uh, like big, I feel like Finn, Finn, Finn should have energy. this. Big cow energy. Uh, so I have it on, and it's like way too big for my yeah, little cat head. I, and I'm I, like, don't you think this would look great on Finland? I take it off Robin, and I put it on Finland. <laughs> Finland's not there. You'll have to bring it to Finland. I I, yeah. uh, I hold it, and I say we'll give so, it to yeah, Finland. Even if it on, you know, nothing happens because it requires attunement. It, I like 100 yeah. though. Like, feel like Jack would put it on, and then like do a terrible Finland impression. <laughs> get there. I hold it under my arm and say, well, <laughs> give it to Fenlin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. This would look great on Fenlin. Oh, uh, sure. Actually, no, Jack Jack has been, I, I, I apologize, I'm having trouble um, theater the minding this without, like, seeing where people are on the map. Yeah. Oh, no However, one's moved on the map, so. Yeah, we're all <laughs> Fenlin's gone off. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I recognize that, and in, in fact, um, would this look at all similar to something that uh, would be in the Minotaur 
uh, what? No, because they don't wear horns on their helmets. No, that's true. Um, so, uh, but I, 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 I am gonna say that I do recognize it. I do recognize the horns. The horns look like minotaurs. Uh huh. Um, and I'm gonna be like, uh, I'm, I'm appropriating that, and just I, 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 I hold on to it. <laughs> I was gonna. I was gonna oh. give it to Fenland. You guys, I, I steal one map. I d uh, You're uh, giving Zareth, that map Zareth, back. Uh, Zareth uh, wanders off to you the. Um, uh, wanders off to the uh, um, <clears throat> uh, close to, close to the portal, um, and he's gonna he's gonna have a little speech here in a minute. <clears throat> What's but the last like, thing? Let me do the last thing before he does his speech. Use my last yeah, yeah. spell slot. Okay. Identify this last thing. There are, actually, there are actually three things within this case when you open it up. The three things oh. are the lipstick of flames, a oh. dark metal tube containing seven uses of a bright red colored lipstick with flakes of gold. One use can be applied to your lips during a short or long rest and remains applied for 24 hours unless removed. The wearer can use an action to expend the magic from the applied lipstick and breathe a 15 foot cone of fire. Creatures within the cone must make a DC 13 dexterity save or take 3d6 fire damage or half as much on a success. Once the magic is expended, the lipstick changes to a natural red color. So we have right, to go. There are right, two now, right now, Annika is above me. And so I pointed up because when she started, her lips were like super red. And I was like, her, 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 them, them, Jack, them. Jack really wants to swatch it. So... Uh, I will say, if you swatch it, that's going to be an expended use of one of the seven. I uses. say that if if you say I want to swatch it, I'll be like, you'll use it then. It has seven I, uses. We have to be sparing with it. Oh, okay. But Special occasions. You can be yeah. the first to use it. There are two more things in here. Yes. There is the Prima Prisma nail. Yes, this seven foot giant like. Not giant, clearly, but this seven-foot oh. half-orc, you know, with, with the shield and everything, just squeaked. <laughs> yeah, you. Will, I will let you use it first before I ever do. Okay, so the next one is the Prima Prisma Nail Polish. A bottle containing a glittering rainbow nail polish. It contains enough nail polish for ten uses. Can be applied during a short or long rest and remains applied until removed. One use covers a single nail. While at least one nail has the nail polish applied, you can use an action to release the magic to cast color spray. If all 10 nails have nail polish applied, you can use an action to release the magic all at once and cast prismatic spray. After magic is expelled, the nail polish becomes a flat white color. AKA color okay. spray, you use it once, it just blinds people in a cone. Prismatic spray is bonkers. It is a bonkers. Doesn't care about the magic on this. Jack just wants the pretty makeup. Me. <laughs> Robin's intention is to hand the makeup kit to Jack. Like, here, for you, a pretty. And then there's one more thing in here. This is the silk skin cream. A small container with a pale yellow cream. It contains enough cream for five uses. Can be applied during a short or long rest and applied apply for 24 hours. One use can be applied to half the body. When applied, this lotion will make you immune to petrification. When this cream is applied to a creature already petrified, that creature will have their petrification effect removed. Nice. The other thing is just the, the potion is a potion of hill giant strength. Nice. And that moon shaped thing floating in there is a hill giant toenail. <laughs> How you make potions of giant strength? I believe, you, I believe it. Got to drink it all. Cool. I identify yeah. it, and of the stuff, I I say what is good, and I I explain the bow. I say that this helmet is literally a thing for bovine strength, and I say the helmet bovine strength. Say that we got to give this to Finland. I, it, it definitely. Um, I, I just out of respect for Fenlin. I, I I think it needs to go to Finland. Yeah, we're all in agreement about that. Uh, I do definitely. So all the makeup's magical. They have a certain number of uses, and I explained that the nail polish has the cool shit. 
So if anybody don't swatch this stuff, <laughs> because then you use up uses of it. So don't do that. Um, and then I say that the Band of the Dryad is only good for nature clerics, which I am not one of those, and druid. So whoever knows a druid, there's a ring. And, and Bostat, you hear Nelia say druid, and you're like, interesting. I'm glad do you know, I did a, do you know a druid, Bastet? Uh, yes. Me. Oh. Uh. Oh. See, so well, Bastet will benefit from that ring. With I look at it. Like, you can do that? You can, you can do two things? I do two things. Huh. Um, do two things. well... Huh? Um, that's how, that's how my culture, that's how we, you know, reincarnate. That's why we have, how we're able to do nine lives. Immediately Oh no, now, my floor was there. Immediately <laughs> like, b d bullshit. Yep, bullshit. One day Whistler, I'll walk. sit down. I take One a walk day, away. I, I, I follow, I follow leaves. Whistler. And I go, Whistler, let's look at the, let's look at the pretty geode. <laughs> That you should definitely have this, but um, do you mind if I borrow it when we get back to town so I can sketch it? Because it's beautifully done work. I'd really like to sketch it. Right? It would be great if you could, you know, did you if you made pan, it'd be cool if you could make a ring like this. Oh, yeah. I definitely can. An artisan. Yeah. But is it okay? Like, you can have it, but I can borrow it to sketch it later? Yeah, hold on to it for now. Otherwise, really? Not, yeah. I don't need it right now. A fancy cat. No. <laughs> um, this, this little gnome is like, who, what is going on? No. Um, hello, my name is, my name is Finlan. Um, we are, just stay, stay on that side of, of the rocks. I'm coming I over to you. I come over to you. Finlan, um, you fall back so, over. for, some amount of time, a very bad creature called an Alhun has been taking over your mind. And, um, he is gone now, but, um, hey. we don't know if he can come back. Uh, it's not safe here, but we're going to have some people come out to close the portal that is back there. Uh, she kind of tries to look. She kind of tries to, like, or, like see but you, she can't it's like too far she's just kind of like what portal or it's in a big portal in the middle of the floor um it's not safe um so if anyone else is in this mine you probably should go outside um and we will speak with the emerald protectorate and the emerald protectorate will let you know when it is safe to return thank you I'm very tired. Um, I understand. <laughs> um, I... is your home near? You have been. Well, you stunned, I suppose is the word. Um, I do not know how long you have just been standing in this chamber, but this is how we we found you. And um, I'm what sure that you do not feel good. You might want to come back to town with us. And you know what? Be looked over by a physician. Honestly. Yeah, we could, we could do that. We could okay. go back to You know, we have someone who could look you over. Um, just real quick right here. Um, hold on. Don't move. Don't move. Don't come over to the wall. Um, that's that. Jack, um, uh, Jack actually calls out, Finland, 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 check this out, look! <laughs> and like, <laughs> like, goes over to Finland, like, Jack, Jack is still frustrated that, like, the, the Alhoon disappeared, and also is very excited about her new makeup, um, and, <laughs> uh, like, brings the helmet over and, like, you called for Bastet, but I scramble, but I like appear, my head uh, appears oh, over the wall. Yeah, the wall I'm still on your side. Oh, I'm okay. still on your side. 
I'm like leaning over the wall to talk to this little gnome. Uh, um, so I like go over and I like excitedly like shove the helmet in in Finland's chest. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? Who would make? Why? Bovine what? strength. It does what? You have to attune to it! Nelia yells out of the <laughs> You, like, lean out the door. <laughs> yeah. Fenlin, you get your horns. <gasps> Fenlin just suddenly just, like, stops. That is just, like, can't even in this moment, like, dealing with this, like, the gnome issue, dealing with the portal issue, the Alhoon could come back at any minute and now is like I have my horns it's too much she J just Jack there. takes the helmet and like puts it on Finland's head my other helmet <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and like puts it on Finland's head and then like just knocks it with her arm <laughs> oh my god I was like okay at that point yeah I like lean forward and like <laughs> Ram your arm. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Don't knock it off. <laughs> you know, I have to show Papa. Wait, wait. Oh, I need best that. Best that. <laughs> so, boss that you are being called. <laughs> what, am, what am I? What am I supposed to be doing? What's going on? Um, the, the gnomes, they are awake, but they, I don't think, feel very good. And I was wondering if you could sort of check them over i i know that the gentleman at the entrance is going to have a hell of a headache I, I will. And, um, yeah so if you want to look them over you can make a medicine check okay i rolled a three so i don't think there's gonna you know you're i'm gonna fine. be like they look completely fine what are you talking about? Yeah, I feel like you're not even sure they know he's at that point. Yeah. Water. Just drink, just get a drink of water, you'll be fine. Like, yeah, yeah. Have some dirt in it. Right? Yeah. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna leave the room and I'm gonna notice there. I'm gonna like kinda just stand there, just stare at him, because he's he's doing what I did, just staring at the portal. And I'm like Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Um, um, so the gnomes have to, have said, yeah, they'll come back with you. She's like, we're just gonna go by the entrance and we'll wait for you. We'll go back to town with you. And whoever wants to, Zareth is just kind of staring at this portal. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to. I'd like to actually take my actions then. Yeah. Um, so, so Zareth so, is doing something. So so Zareth stares at the at the portal for a moment, um, and then reaches uh, reaches uh, <clears throat> reaches up close to close to the crown of his head and seems to catch something right out of the air. Um, if you are a caster, you know what an iron stone is, um, and a green sphere materializes in his hands, and he looks at it <clears throat> for a moment, and he says, "The Alhoon has fled. Uh, the cause, the causeways are safe, and I am finished. I am finished serving you. I am finished with this life." And then he like looks at the at the unstable portal um and looks back at it and if you cause any harm for them i will come for you and he chucks the little the the little gemstone into the swirling portal so that she can't scry on him <laughs> it's going somewhere yep uh and then he takes a then he takes a very deep breath <sighs> I think it is time for me to live a life of peace. I have been through enough war. And he just kind of like looks over himself and looks at, at, at the group and says, over the past 50 years, I have acquired many tools of war that no longer seem to suit me. But I... But you are willing to protect this place and to protect your people. I I think you could make use of them. And like he pulls out his like super magical sword and um, 
and just kind of like like stare like stares at the group to see if anybody like kind of like perks up at that. Uh, Jack. Jack is uh, heard. I'm done with this life, and got really really concerned. And like walks over to Zareth and is just like, and just says, "Are are you going to harm yourself?" No, I. I am done being a tool in someone else's war. I am done being a soldier for another. I. It has cost me everything. Everyone that I once loved is dead. And I am alone. Hey. Call on us. You Hello. won't be alone. And I just like I, I stick I stick my arm out for the the shake. Arm shake. Okay. <laughs> He's he smiles and like and gives you a good grasp. Um yeah, I uh, I think that I will. Um, uh, y you know, I, I'll, I'll be able to study study magic. I've I've always wanted to study magic, and you know, in 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 school, I was I was good with this, like looking at the sword. I was good with this, so they made me use it. But I can be done with that now. Uh, <laughs> you uh, seem like, pretty good at magic to me, but okay. Uh, <laughs> And Jack just kind of like takes the sword because she's the one closest. Um, oh and then, yeah. Like, oh. And then like he like then he wicks off his his uh, his solid adamantine armor and like it clangs to the floor with an incredible amount of noise because of how freaking heavy it is. I'm sorry, I called you a lizard. It's okay. Dragons are related to lizards, I think. Even though I'm not really a dragon, and he like pulls off um and he pulls off this like this large heavy belt um and he kind of like gets these things together and he and he lays them down and he says all right um i have a uh, a dragon's tooth a sword of flame um a set of full adamantine armor and a belt of stone giant strength um i i don't need them Oh, and he reaches into his pocket and pulls out like two, two gemstones and says, I don't really need these either. They're just kind of tokens of war. Uh, you, you get them as rank and insignia. And he like puts them down. At, they're two iron stones. Wait, wait uh, where, where are you going? Probably back to town. He's a oh, friend, guys. He's our friend now. So we will still see you. Maybe. I, I think I'm going to go to a bigger city to learn more magic. Y'all's magic is in the town seems to be full of plants. I'm not very good at the plant magic. You know, I do fires and wind and other stuff. And you want <laughs> us to have these things? Yes, yes. You, you're, you're competent. And you care about your community. It, they need to go. They need these tools need to be used by someone that I trust, and you are someone's that I trust. Uh, Meta, what's Big the deal me, with this but... armor? So uh, the adamant... yeah, go ahead. Uh, adamant um, adamantine plate um, is a set of full plate that makes you immune to critical hits. Oh. <laughs> the belt of, the belt of stone giant strength transfers your um, transfers uh, changes your strength score from whatever it is to twenty one. Don't need, um, <laughs> but I like this plate. I have a negative, uh, not a negative one strength. <laughs> and then the dragon tooth. Yeah. It's a flame tongue longsword. Yes. And then uh, the iron stones, just I'll make up some iron stones. Um, I, I have them as an iron stone of protection and an iron stone of alertness, but like whatever <laughs> ones you want to give, like that's yeah, that's great to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, could you not 
just, I mean, please do not think that I am being rude. I do very much appreciate this gift. I love armor. I do. But we're all going back to town together. Could you not wear it so I don't have to carry it along with the armor? That I am not saying I'm... Ah, oh, I'm terrible at receiving Jack, gifts. Jack is already putting the adamantine armor over her leather armor only for carrying. Like, she'll she'll give it up to someone if someone else wants it. I want it. And, I want to swap it. Yeah. And she only has leather armor. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can... I have plate. I'm fine. Yeah. We'll talk. But I don't uh -huh. need, like... I don't... I don't need the... The... Uh, belt or girdle. I forgot what yeah. it was. The belt. belt of giant strength. It's yeah, a it's a it. magical it's a magical belt. Like I'm assuming that it will be stylish to whom ever wears it. Well, I mean it's it's good. It I'll literally that. my strength by one. Nelia really I, super I, wants it. I, I have like nine, nine strength guys. guys. <laughs> All right, <laughs> like so we we're giving this up. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Jack. Jack is literally putting it on because she can care. She she has the strength to carry it, and she only has leather armor, so it goes over her leather armor yeah. pretty well. I'm already w wearing full plate, plus now carrying a helmet and wearing a helmet, so it's going to get awkward at some point. <laughs> um, so, because I want a souvenir of my new my new biffle, yeah, and I'm gonna yeah. take Zareth's hand in a friend platonic way and say, Zareth. I got some people back in Luticia. That's the capital city. My family knows some people. I can get you connections at a really great magical university there. Like, I'd be happy even to help you get there. Um, I'm really excited for you. Like, I feel like this new life, like you're going to drink cream, you know? Like, you're going to have the best life now. Yes. Yes, I'm going to have, I'm going to have a new life. Thank you. I'm gonna walk up to him and I'm gonna pat him on the back and say, Welcome to the material plane, my guy. <laughs> it's fun. Oh, um, and, uh, Robin. Yeah? There's a marketplace, if memory serves, on, and he lists a series of coordinates. It's got a helmet of, it should still have a helm of telepathy. If you ever want to go there and get it for Whistler, and he, he like he hands you the compass. Be careful. Oh, the I, 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 but you don't want to come with? I mean, I guess you'll be Hello? busy set, setting. I'll I'll come with you. You will? Sure. We're friends, aren't we? Yes, we are. We're, we're friends. I'm so happy to be your friend. I really, I just, I'm, I, this is so, I was going to make one of these, but now I don't have to make it because you gave me, are you sure, like, like, is this for Keepsies or is this for Barosies? Because either way, like, I'm down because we're, we're buds. Like, I don't mind Barosies. Well, I'm assuming at some point we'll, we'll go to Sigil and get, and get me a new one. I can have this one. Sure. Oh God. I mean, a city of doors. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just. In 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 his backstory, that's where he got it. Yeah. <laughs> I, have, I have backstory for all my items because I'm a huge nerd. But <laughs> I will I say, go there. If it gives me an excuse to cosplay the Lady of Pain, then. I Oh, oh, good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I love her. She is the but best. But that's weird. Yeah, me speaking. Um, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. This is this is a show full of nerds. <laughs> what? No. No. It's like very specific Planescape D and D lore, like second edition, third edition, like that I, book. If we go to yeah, if we go to, I, I get excited about Sigil. Um, Zareth, if you go to Leticia, so, my family's there, and, and I can introduce you to my brother, and you two can be friends, too, and he can help you out, or you're getting your feet on the ground there. Like, you'll be set up, even though I'm not going to be there, because I'll be here, but, like, we can write each other and be buds still, and my brother can, like, take you around and introduce you to people, and you'll have friends there, too, you know? 
I, I, I am pleased at your confidence that I will swiftly make friends. Um, yeah, so that's are you, awkward. <laughs> are you guys done with here? Are you heading out and like having these conversations as you're heading out of the mine? Yeah. Oh, uh-huh. I was gonna stare at the yeah. portal more because I just want to stare at the portal. I think okay, we, I'm gonna pull you away. Me? Like, yeah. yeah. I think we should go out and light a flare to let it is, yeah. them know that there's a portal here. It is not safe for you to be here. We will. This will be closed. It is. It is not safe for anyone. Come back with us to town. We'll have pancakes. Aim. And then, so when you say pancakes, the gnomes are like, yeah, pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and one of them just kind of, you hear their stomach rumbling. They're like, I didn't realize I was hungry until now. Well, you probably <laughs> have not eaten in weeks, probably. So, but they have never ending pancakes at cream. So, and we'll get you some. Yeah, pancakes. Are yeah. pancakes light it's cream? Our chocolate bonbons. I know how much you like those. So you have these seven little gnomes who are just kind of like all completely dazed, no idea what day it is, what years ago. They're just kind of like, yeah. Seven gnomes and they're all dopey? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my. I'm like your treasure. Uh, <laughs> um, and yep. they just kind of follow uh, you. I swear. As we're going, uh, Whistler's gonna try and like get Zareth to hang back for a minute. Um, that's that's not difficult. And I mean, they're, they're <laughs> yeah, they'll they'll keep walking, but she tries to just kind of slow them down for a second. Um, and she tries a few times to say something, but it's almost like every time she has a an idea of how to express it, it kind of fizzles out, and she realizes like, no, that's not gonna work. Um, and she finally just stops and turns to him and just offers uh, a handshake. Oh. Handshake received. Yeah. Um, and then she's just like, pancakes! And is like, hurry on. <laughs> um, as we're walking, Robin uh, wants to also talk with Sarah and say, okay, so I just want to be clear, and it won't hurt my feelings, that the poppet that we saw that means there's not that thrall, right? Like, that person yes. wasn't real? That is such a relief. That means that no one's being hurt. Like, I thought there was this horrible slave that was being treated like that, but there isn't. Like, you are, you are taking this is, remarkably well. Well, that, I mean, why would it be better if there was someone who was in horrible danger and being mistreated? Like, <sighs> <sighs> The Alhun's so often, you know? Alhun's often, tor- often tortures the people they speak to. I assumed he tortured you. I mean, psychologically, yes, but but only and because I thought someone was really in danger. Now that I know that no one's actually in danger, it's it's like I feel happy, you know? I don't feel like this pressing guilt, like there's someone that needs me to save them. You know, I thought I've got to save this person. I'm going to have to use the compass and go find this person that's been entrapped, that's that's being kicked around. But now that I know that they're not real, like, I'm free. I don't have to do that, you know? You are a good person, and I am glad that you have the compass. It will do, it will, uh, it will, it will do you good. I hope so, as long as Jack doesn't find out about it. I don't think you can hide it from Jack. <laughs> Jack's like right there. You know? Yeah. You're probably saying that in front of Jack. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Emily? If anyone else had anything else that they wanted to say while they were on the way. Well, I was going to say, did anybody put up the flare before you guys uh, left? Oh, I, I have this. Thing. Yeah, Basta yeah, did. Yeah, the one who okay. mentioned it, I would go out and go. Boop. Okay, I, so you I did actually. Yeah. With, or if you want to go first. 
What? Oh no, I was just saying the flare. I would have done okay. that. Okay, I did. It. I was like, is that I want to speak? Um, I have a little worm friend. No, that was <laughs> I have those those breaky things to to do like the oh, scientific yes, the fairy fire, but yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Finlan basically, you know, make sure the gnomes are all going where they're going. Everybody's like safe. Everybody's headed out. You do um, kind of have to wrangle the gnomes every once in a while because one will start wandering. Wandering know? off. All yeah. right. Okay, now we have a kindergarten class. Great. <laughs> um, uh, Finland kind of like, idols up next to Jack and kind of like kind of shoulders into her. Although when when Finn shoulders in, it's kind of at at Jack's like elbow. <laughs> but <laughs> um, I wanted to say thank you so much for the gift of this helmet. I. I did not realize how afraid I have been of dying because I do not have horns for them to be able to call me home at my funeral. But now you have given me this most precious gift and I have nothing to give you that is of equal value and I am... Very happy to have these, but I want you to know that I I want to be able to give you something this meaningful too, because you are my dear friend. And uh, Robin found it in the room, and uh, Nelia is the one who identified what it was. I. All I did was grab it. Then, and Finlan sort of looks around and just kind of yells, I did all of you! <laughs> I'm just gonna, like, have, like, happy horn time. <laughs> and as you're walking, if anybody, um, the two items that require attunement, the hor the helmet and the ring, Bossit, if you do want to put the ring on and attune to it, as you're walking, you can kind of, like, start attuning to those items. Hmm. I feel more and more cow every second. Yeah. So essentially what the, the band of the dryad is, is if if Bostet touches you, she can basically give you a healing potion. It's like 2d4 plus 2. So yeah. Once a day. Once a day, yeah. Um, oh. Does anyone else want to uh, yeah. do wanna, or... Hell yeah, yeah. I just want to, I want to cast message to Whistler. It's the best way to communicate to Whistler. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to be like, are there any more portals here? I think that was that was the last of it. That was all there was. That was the last one, and it was super weird. And they're gonna close it, and we're not gonna know where the Alhoon is. Set it Her up. like mental voice is actually kind of quiet. She's <laughs> she's a little like... gotten used to it now, right? Yeah. <laughs> I said well, another message. She, she has like she's she's worried about this. Like yeah, the guy got away. He could just cast a spell. He could just come back. So she's very just like. I don't know that I feel like celebrating. And you can kind of hear that tone in her voice. Even though she's just kind of babbling about, yeah, there's no more portals. That was it. They're going to come and they're going to close this one, even though this one didn't really go anywhere. You want to hang out in the graveyard later? <laughs> that's what I say. I said next message. <laughs> hey, I, that's like the only place I know in town right now is Cream and Graveyard. And the Emerald, and the Emerald Protectorate. Oh, I can show you, I can show you literally everywhere else in town. Like, everywhere else. I mean, I grew up here. Like, I know all the places in town. I mean, cut off. Send another message. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, sure, but I will I... <laughs> uh, Sure, but I don't think I'll be able to uh, reciprocate showing you everywhere that I'm from. Can you show me how to fish? Can yeah. <laughs> Another message. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so Whistler and Amelia is going to hang out somewhere and they're going to learn how to fish. Uh, yeah. Uh, what were you going to, did you want to say something, Jack? Um, so Jack is, uh, Jack's been watching how Robin interacts with Zareth and like 
sees how happy uh, Robin is with Zareth and how much they and they they keep like talking about how like oh they're friends they're friends they're friends and so what she's thinking is like okay now that Robin's just been friendly to me um, and it, it it doesn't mean anything besides that we're friends um, and uh, she's just she's she's kind of like playing with uh, the one, one of the things that was picked up the lipstick she's just kind of like n- knocking it back and forth in her hands and just goes Robin uh, and Robin can, is can, can, can you come back here Robin is sitting on pan just like with the compass like yeah uh, oh yeah yeah okay puts it down Hops off a pan and runs and goes over to Jack. Yeah, uh, I. You, you've you've been really, really, really kind to me, and I I know that you're you're kind to everybody, and I know that we're probably going all back to cream when we get back, but I I don't want to go to cream. I want to go get cleaned up, and I. I want to take you out on a date. You? You would go on a date with me? Same squeak. I would, I mean, yeah, yes, please. I, I, I couldn't even, I wouldn't, I mean, you're so, you know, I'm, you know, I, I mean, I would, I uh, yeah, I would. Uh, I would love. I yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. What is my for the brother? record? Jack mm-hmm. doesn't know. Huh? You said you know a couple times. For the record, Jack doesn't know. <laughs> so, so smooth, so smooth. Huh. It's like um, it, when two huh. disaster queers interact, like this is what happens. <laughs> Meanwhile, Nelly is just like, you want to go hang out in a graveyard? Right. Exactly right. See, to me, okay, but I was like, "That's a date." <laughs> yeah. Now, when you when when you say a date, I mean, uh, you mean like, like go and and like maybe kind of make it out. I mean, that that that. that, that if that you're is... into it. Yes, I am. Yes. I would like to go on a romantic date with you. <laughs> Zero purple, purple, blush. <laughs> <laughs> purple blush. Purple blush. Like just does like little 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 hearts and sends them out. Like hearts popping from presentation. And he's just kind of grinning. Is there this wingman and yeah. Um, Oh, yeah. oh, oh, your, bo- your uh, boy wants, wants you to have a good time, Robin. Your boy yeah. wants you to have a good time. <laughs> yeah, any, yeah, any, I would love to, and I, um, we could go, oh, there's so many places we could go, and, and we could, uh, yes, maybe now we could I hang go, together. I have to go make up the, like, romantic spot in town. I gotta go. <laughs> it I just was a bench in the park. It might be broken. Uh, it's not great right now. now. That you're you're really artistic. Maybe we could maybe we could uh, have a picnic and and paint together. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so this is happening as you guys are like walking back into town, herding gnomes that are just kind of wandering, still days. Great zap. Yeah, and you guys make it back to town. By the time you make it back to town, it's dark. Like it is dark out by the time you guys make it from the traveling and being in the mines like it's maybe it's like maybe one o'clock in the morning you guys it is dark the town is not alive but there's people out and about and milling about and going to get food and stuff like that um but it's not the lively town that you have during the day so um where are you going to deposit the gnomes <laughs> uh, Do you also, three temples you could take them to. There's the Temple of Melora, the Temple of Pelor, and the Temple of the Raven Queen. Wherever the Melora? best healers are. Yeah. That would be the yeah. Temple of Melora, probably. 
Yeah, I was going to say Melora, I think, makes the most sense. So, there. Hello, and that's luckily, that's luckily on the way in, there's a big tree that's the Temple of Melora. And that's where Bob wants it. to make sure that the map goes back to the Emerald Protectorate. Okay. Uh, Shag Lawful Good. She, she's <laughs> having guilt. Think, though. Mm. Uh, what were you going to say, uh, Alyssa? Boss that? I know. Jeez. I know Bob, uh, Jack is really into makeup and knowing that I have like an infinite supply of glitter on my oh, body, I offer to. <laughs> For her to come get some glitter, some multi-chrome glitter for her, like, highlight and to decorate herself if she needs it for a day. Because as a cat, we can read cats, read other cats. So for a long time, Rob, you know, Bostet's known that Robin's, like, feeling the vibe, so. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can I literally that. smell it coming off of Robin as yeah. Robin's putting yeah. out pheromones yeah. every time Robin looks at freaking... Yeah. <laughs> smell so, it. It's like... So, Jack, you know, she just wants to lend a hand to Jack so that she can look her best. Oh. Uh, so while we're walking back, though, I, uh, Nilly is going to go up to Zareth and be like, so where are you from? Oh. <laughs> I don't know you, so. <laughs> Oops. I'm from, I'm from the Astral Sea. Um, I was born on a steel ship and, uh, yeah, I've, 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 I've served, I've served, um, <clears throat> I've served my mistress in Tiamat for 50 plus years and in, uh, in, in the prolonged Dark Crusade. Nice. Does that answer the question? Yeah. <laughs> who, who was it that you served? I, I do not speak her name anymore. Cool. At least you or can if do I that. Speak. Hmm. I can't. <laughs> they were all like, uh? Huh? Uh, uh, dropping those hints. Um, dropping some backstory. Yeah. Um, uh, everybody, Jack makes sure the map goes back where it needs to go. Um, any, uh, uh, Zareth, you can find a place to stay. If you want to stay, I guess you want to stay with Robin in their room. <laughs> with me. No, Robin's got a hot date. Like, Zareth is no, you can... I got a boat. Well, I got a spot for you, though. <laughs> really in, the, in the art collective, I can I can hook you up with, with lodgings at the art collective. Uh, I, 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 I can be in stay my room. In. Oh, that, that <laughs> reminds me. Um, uh, uh, and he, like, kind of, like, pats himself down and pulls out a coin purse. Um, I believe... A few weeks ago, I agreed to pay you for this adventure. Um, and he just kind of like awkwardly hands <laughs> like a like a like a, a full a full purse to you know out to somebody for somebody to hold it. I mean, technically, Astor was the one that uh, Astrid was the one that uh, made the deal. Uh, deal. Yep. So who gra who grabs the coin purse? <laughs> that you know the rogue's gonna try. If anybody <laughs> stops her, she's grabbing it. <laughs> so Nelia's is just like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> she's gonna I, try. I, it's, what, it's what happens I, when you get communist. Um, <laughs> is diversity free? I know, the, I know that much has changed for us all, but I did give you my word that I would pay you for the for what happened, and yeah. so. And we can figure out later how much you pay them. We can do that off, off yeah. camera. Do you want to stay in the boat my, or you want to stay in a building? It, it says player players monetary will reward gold bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're going to stay on a boat or you're going to stay in the art collective? Well, you're from the Astral party. Sea. Oh, Boats are fun. Uh, I, I will stay at the art collective. There's probably interesting people there. Yeah, and I can I can learn more about this place, and I can learn more about things like um, like the consents. Yeah, <laughs> y'all have y'all have rules. Y'all have y'all have social rules here that are interesting. Or you can do you. anything you want as long as everybody gives consent. Basically, yeah. everybody that, says okay. That makes. Uh, 
that, that makes sense. I, Some friends I can introduce you to at the collective the- that could help you learn about consent. Enthusiastic cool. consent. Oh, there's, is that different? Oh, yeah. You'll find my, that. My comment is not good. You know that. Uh, my comment's not, not good. Um, Enthusiastic, is that like happy consent? Like somebody's happy? To- it means they're not just saying yes with their mouth. It means they're mm-hmm. saying yes with their whole heart. So you can, so there's a difference in someone who says yes, but it doesn't seem like they're really interested. And then someone who says yes, like they're excited. And you want that so, one. You want the person to be excited to say yes, not just yes. So somebody that says well, yes, so they're saying yes because like there's bad stuff if they say no versus enthusiastic yes. Yeah. Which is like yes. I wouldn't want someone to say yes to you as a favor to me. I want them to say yes to you because they want to say yes to you. Oh, Whistler? Mm -hmm. Whistler butts in. Yeah, Whistler butts in in a, again, Torbex, real deep Irish accent. And it's just like, well, there are the birds and then there are the bees. I stop Whistler. I like grab the beak and I'm like, (laughs) let's go fishing. At one o'clock in the morning, you want to go night fishing? Night? It's the best fishing. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Night fishing. Um, I have a question. So, uh, uh, Finland, you go back to the the fire brigade. Um. Yes. To sleep. Okay. Robin and and Zareth are buddy copying it back to um, the uh, art collective. Uh, Jack is staying with Finland. I'm assuming that Whistler, you're going back to the Temple of the Raven Queen. Apparently, we're going night fishing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> night fishing. Night fishing. And, Boston, are you headed back to your inn? Yeah. It's one in the morning. You know, yeah. whenever Jack wants to come get some butter, she can. You know, just hit me up at the inn. Um, as you walk in to your inn, uh, does anybody else want to do anything before I end this? This is how I'm going to end this. Does anybody else want to no. have a coda? Okay. So as you walk in, um, you, there's a, um, uh, somebody's like, oh, oh, uh, sorry, Miss Bostet, Miss Bostet, we, uh, somebody from the, some lady from the Temple of Melora brought this for you. It's got your name on it and hands you like a folded piece of paper in an envelope. Say thank you and I open it up and read what's on it. It is a letter from your mother. And we will discover what that letter says the next time what? that we we'll play. Yeah, it's a letter from your mom. Well, uh, I asked her, what did the person look like who delivered it? Uh, it came from the Temple of Melora. They said that it was delivered there and they brought it here because they knew you were staying here. I know, but who? what did the person like who delivered it look like? Uh, I don't know. The person from the Temple of Melora, um, it was a, a, a dwarfish l- lass. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay. But you can ask who got it from there. We just got it from the temple. You'd have to ask them. But yeah, it's a letter from your mom. So when we pick up back from Rendenhurst, we'll find out what that letter says because I have to write it. (laughs) (laughs) I have like three three months. In like four months or something, whatever it is. Right? I do have on my notes from, like, episode three. It says, get Finland horns. Uh, And this next thing is also, I hope you guys feel like maybe going to the desert, because that might be what you're doing. So Alyssa and I get to talk about... (laughs) Alyssa and I get to talk about uh, the, the Tabaxi homeland in the desert. Also, do we go to the deserts, do we get to meet kobolds? I don't know, but uh, we need to say goodbye to everybody. One, two, yes. three, goodbye. Thank you guys so much for watching. And for watching. We... Thank you. Oh my gosh, it will be Star Trek. Yes. Bye, guys. We love you all. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.